Welcome back to the Priority One Security pregame interview with head coach Dabo Sweeney. Well, after this game, there will have been 12 college football playoff games over the last four years. Clemson and Alabama will have 11 of those 12 wins. That probably is an example of how these two teams have dominated college football, these two prospective senior classes. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got a chance to, to get our 55th win, uh, which and they've got a 55th got win, so... Uh, but but that would make this the best group ever because uh, they beat them head to head and would be the first modern day you know 15 and 0 team in college football history. And Clemson would have more wins over FBS teams. Now, there you go. So I mean there's, this is this is a very unique opportunity for both teams for both senior groups and you best believe they all understand that and and I you know to me it's only fitting uh, because. You know, this group has been kind of faced with that type of situation all year. You know, they've done things that have never been done, and they've shattered it. You know, they knew they needed 51 wins to be the winning of senior class. Well, they've got 54. You know, they, they, they've won 12 games by 20 points or more. You know, we, the record for 3.0s on our, on our, in our football history was 56 in a semester. Well, we had 66. You know, they've just dominated – way above and beyond uh, in every aspect. You know, they got the fifth win against the, the, our, in our state championship game. The, the, they, they had the pressure of the fourth ACC championship, first team in the league to do that, to beat Florida State. Nobody beating them four in a row in our league, you know. So it's just kind of they've had these things all year long, and, man, they – and then they've had the mindset of going coast to coast, you know, from the Atlantic coast all the way to the West Coast. And um, – you know, they, they're, all they got to do is just continue to be who they are. Um, but to me, this is a heavyweight matchup. And because you can say the same thing about Alabama, though, they've been amazing. Uh, those seniors have been amazing. And so to have the it, college football, you want to get the two best teams. And, man, you got it. You got the two best teams, the two best winningest senior classes, uh, and somebody's going to walk off the field, you know, uh, standing on top of the mountain, uh, victorious, and, and somebody's going to come up a little short. So uh, it's it's exciting to, to have those type of stakes involved and, and to be able to be a part of it. Fourth straight year, Clemson and Alabama have met in a bowl game, which is also a first in college football history. Southern Cal and Ohio State had met three years in a row, as obviously Clemson and, and Alabama have. But um, it seems that this Alabama team is a little bit different from the three – that you faced previously and that their offensive numbers are off the chart in particular. Two has got a chance to be the first quarterback in college football history to have a passing efficiency rating over 200 for the course of the season. Yeah, no question. Uh, this is different, definitely the, the best offense we've seen from Alabama in all of our matchups, and they, they've been really good. Uh, but they've been more built running the football, and then the pass comes off of that, whereas now they're built through the pass and the run comes off of that. It's, it's kind of unusual to look at the statistics of Alabama, and I think, they're, I think they're like seventh in the country in passing or something like that, and then they're only like 30 or 33 in rushing. Right. You don't usually see that with Alabama. It's usually just the opposite. Um, and uh, whereas we're, we're like 10th in rushing and, and 20-something in passing. Um, so that's just kind of you know what Tua brings to the table. They're explosive on the outside, as good of receivers as whew, you're going to see anywhere in the country. Uh, but you can't go to sleep on their run game. Very, I mean, these are all NFL backs. Uh, but again, lots of RPOs, which has led to explosive plays. I mean, we've had 40 plays of 30, 33 plays of 40 yards or more. They've had 30 of 40 yards or more. Uh, so we're very similar in that uh, we get a lot of explosive plays off the run game. And, and they, they equip Tua with so many post-snap things, you know, as far as the RPOs. And, uh, and you know, when you play Alabama, you gotta have you got to be able to stop the run. And so that creates a lot of really clean throwing lanes. And then his accuracy – is unbelievable. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a short pass or a deep pass. He is so accurate, which speaks to his efficiency and, and his completion percentage and so forth. So it's a huge challenge, but it's definitely 
Um, you know, it's the same old, same old with their defense. I mean, they're just – they're always good over there. Uh, and it's kind of same old, same old with us. We're kind of always right there. We're, we're both good on defense, but for sure uh, they're built differently on offense and uh, everything goes through that quarterback. But, if you know, and you can't go to sleep on Jalen Hurts. You know, Tua goes down and Jalen comes in and he made he made four plays that were the difference in the game in beating Georgia. So uh, they're, they're well stocked and equipped and uh, going to be a huge challenge for our defense. One of the similarities I see between the two offenses, though, is a lot of options, a lot of different players on the touch chart. Yeah, there's no doubt. They they uh, they got their top three receivers, four guys that, that have most of the touches, and then they got a couple tight ends, especially 82. Uh, he is he is a great player, uh, and he's, he, he poses a problem for us. But they involve all the backs uh, and, and, you know, rotate more offensively than they do defensively, uh, a lot like we do. So what do you see as the overall keys? As I've watched Alabama this year, it seems like they, boy, they get off to great starts and they just kind of keep it going. I would think, you know, the first – quarter is going to be pretty important well there's no question i think we need a good start you know and last year we got in a hole early and we we were we were backed up the whole first half but even still you know middle of the third quarter it's 10 to 6 and and but we didn't you have to take advantage of your opportunities and uh for for us it's not giving them short fields like we did last year and and that came through turnovers uh they had a pick six you know, uh, off a tip ball, and then, and then right there in the third quarter, it's 10-6, and we got a good drive. We gave up the sack, fumble, and all the way, and a huge return all the way down to, you know, wherever they got the ball there, short field. And so you can't give them a short field. You got to make them go the distance and uh, win that margin. I think that's going to be a real critical part is if we can take care of the football, um, and 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 have have a chance with the field position because it's just hard. Just like it's hard to go the distance on our defense, it's hard to go the distance on these guys. So that leads to explosive plays, and which team can can have the explosive play? You know, we both have been incredibly explosive. So which secondary can make the critical plays? Which wide receiver group can make the critical plays? And uh, which quarterback can make that big play? Which quarterback makes the big mistake? Uh, so I think that's what it's going to come down to, quite simply. And then, and then, and then I think who can be, who can who can get something going in the run game. It's hard to run on them. It's hard to run on us. Uh, but who can get some type of ground support through the run game uh, is going to be a critical part. But when it all comes down to it, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be turnovers and big plays. Uh, in, in games like this, when you're talking two or three plays, if everything is even. Uh, that's usually the difference, and uh, and then and then special teams. You know, we we when we won it, we won the special teams battle. When we lost it, we lost the special teams battle. Uh, gave up that kick return for a touchdown. It's a difference in the game, and uh, so you know that that could be all things even. That might be the that might be the one thing that can kind of get you over the top. So we've got to play well, but. Uh, something's got to give one way or another. It's going to come down to matchups and who can who can make those critical plays when they present themselves. Should be a great night of college football. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. This has been the Priority One Security pregame interview with head coach Dabo Sweeney. Priority One Security, the Southeast premier home security provider for over 20 years. Learn more at Priority, the number one security.com. Priority One Security, serious security. The countdown to kickoff continues after this. This is Solid Orange Clemson Football and the Clemson Tigers Network. It's time for kickoff for the 2018 College Football Playoff National Championship game. Your Clemson Tigers face off against the Alabama Crimson Tide with the call live from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Don Munson. Well, they just had the national anthem. The flyover has happened here as well, and we are not that far away from the opening kickoff here between our Clemson Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Tide for the national championship here in college football. Tiger fans, you can purchase your official gear online. You can do it at ClemsonTigers.com. They've had one of those gear stations in our hotel, in the team hotel, 
I must admit, I've already broken down and bought a little gear already to just make sure I have something coming back from this national championship game. Well, that's we, we said the same thing. We brought our family out on Saturday, and you folks walk in the hotel, and you see that, and you go, well, I'll come back and get it. And we're like, no, uh-uh. no, we learned that lesson in Arizona three years now. ago. <laughs> you get it when you can get it, because if not, it will be gone. Amen to, amen to that. All right. Our Southeast Toyota dealers bring us our keys to the game. Brought to you by Southeast Toyota. Visit your local Toyota dealer today for amazing deals on your favorite Toyota vehicles. Toyota, let's go places. All right, Rodney, give us give us some keys as you see it for this thing here tonight. Well, we talked about it pregame a little while ago. I think if the Tiger offensive line can hold out that that four, they really play an odd front, but they'd like to bring the linebacker down on the line of scrimmage. If they can force Alabama into blitzing and playing man and playing single high, uh, single high safety, that's something Alabama doesn't want to do. They want to do what they did last year. They want to put four guys, bring four guys and put pressure on your quarterback and have a two deep man underneath and force you to beat them uh, uh, perim- uh, uh, horizontally versus, peri- versus vertical. So it's up to the offensive line to force Alabama to have to bring pressure. And when they do, we've got better athletes than Alabama seen all year long, and we got more of them. And I think the advantage is the Tigers now. Reggie, let me let me get a key from you because we got a little bit of time here. What, what about it? What from your angle? What's the big key here tonight? Well, I tell you what, Clemson defense has come to play all season long. I think they'll be rock solid tonight. My key is going to be third down conversions. Hey, we can convert third and short. Can't get into third and longs. Can't take any plays with a negative. Cannot, absolutely cannot turn the football over. And that's my key to the game. Tim, you got a key? Yeah, I think uh, whoever runs the ball better is going to have an advantage because it'll open up the uh, the passing game. I think it's going to be important, in particular, for Travis Etienne to uh, to get off to a good start. And I think the overall key is going to be the first quarter because Alabama has been so dominant in the first quarters this year. Clemson has been outstanding in the first halves of games. Remember, Clemson's only given up seven touchdowns in the first half all year. Hasn't given up more than one touchdown in the first half in uh, in 18 of the last 19 games. South Carolina is the only team to score more than one touchdown against the Tigers in that first half. So uh, the way Alabama is used to getting off to a good start, if they don't jump out to a big lead, they may start to question themselves. So I really think uh, that the first quarter is going to be very important. Yeah, and you look at that, Tim. Alabama scored 220 points. Yep. The closest is the second quarter, 199. So, like you said, they punch people in the mouth. And I talked to Woody McCorvey. We were kind of talking. It, Alabama beats so many teams just getting off the bus, and it takes them forever. Once they kind of get their wits about them, then guys are playing with them. But they get such a big lead early on, nobody can come back. Cloudy That's what happened in their bowl game. They were up 28-0 out of Oklahoma. Yeah, cloudy skies here in Santa Clara for this one here tonight. Temperatures right around 60 degrees. Only going to drop down to about 56 uh, here uh, this evening. So we're actually, after what we put up with yesterday, and Rodney, you were here even here on Saturday. There was a bunch of rain here. Yeah, we all thought, hey, we're going to Southern California. <laughs> we leave rain back in the upstate of South Carolina, and it's raining harder and longer out here in California. But thank goodness. The good Lord's looking after us because huge rain, huge front came in Saturday and Sunday. It rained like two and three inches. Tomorrow, Don, they're expecting a lot of rain again, but we have a beautiful window and a beautiful night for football. So the team captain's about to come out to midfield for the coin toss. Interesting, Deshaun Watson is the honorary team captain here for our Clemson Tigers. Davo Sweeney comes up from behind him, taps him on the shoulder, shakes his hand. They give each other a big hug, and I would like to have been a fly on the wall uh, for that short conversation that they had. So here we here we go as the two teams meet at midfield, and we get ready for the coin toss, see who is going to get the ball first in this national championship game. Captains, congratulations on achieving this goal of playing in the national championship game. This is our special coin that we'll be using today. Heads will be the national championship logo. The tails will be Levi's Stadium. Clemson, you've been chosen to call the flip. Heads or tails? He calls heads. I'll let it land on the ground. Tails, Alabama, you win the toss. You want to defer to the second half. Alabama wins the toss, defers to the second half. You want to receive. Where would you like to kick from? Okay, swing around here, please. Start the game. 
Clemson will receive. So Clemson will receive to our right. They'll take it from right to left across your radio dial. Clemson in the white jerseys with orange numerals and lettering. And then the it's a championship game, so they got the orange britches on here tonight. Alabama, the crimson uniform tops with white numerals and lettering and the white bottoms for them. Very traditional-looking football teams. There isn't any of these throwback unis or no. new unis. This is what it is. They're, they're going to wear what they're going to wear. Yep, and as we said, as Tim said, you know, Alabama comes after you, and they come at you hard and fast early on and try to punch you in the mouth, and by the time you wake up, you're down 28 points. Can the Tigers pick up a couple first downs here? Again, what are we going to see? Are they going to bring pressure? We don't think they're going to bring pressure early on. They're going to try to play that too deep man underneath and let those four come. Um, you know, uh, he- uh, excuse me, what's his name? Miller, Christian Miller, their leader, sack leader, tweaked a hamstring last year, last week. Right. And we don't expect to see him at all, so it's going to be interesting. And again, Don, we talked about it pre- Alabama's defense is, is, for the first time ever, they don't have that depth where they just roll people in and out. If we can sustain this first quarter, keep it close, and make this a four-quarter game, it favors the Tigers. Yeah, Clemson gets to that 80, 85 Absolutely. play mark, and that's that's going to be big here tonight. That That is for sure. Well, that's what happened two years ago. The Tigers ran 99 yeah, plays right. in that game. And I would expect the Tigers to fair catch every one of these kickoffs. You know, Alabama did a really good job of kicking it high to about the five-yard line the last couple of years. Now we can call it fair catch. And let's let our offense work and not worry about special teams. So Joseph Bullivus will tee it up, and the right-footed soccer style kicker puts a right foot into it. Kendrick back deep to receive it, and he will call for a fair catch at the three, and the ball will come out to the 25-yard line. I think that's only the second time this year we've seen Clemson make a fair catch on a on a kickoff. And Kendrick, after having that fumble, remember right. against Notre okay. Dame last early on. Yeah, early on in the game last week. Well, and I think that's what the coaching staff said said, don't give them something. You know, Alabama's good enough. Let's go out and execute our offense and play defense. Don't give them a cheap field, you know, switch or a, a, a quick turnover. We'll put the ball on the left hash. Wide side of the field will be right. Two wide outs go that way. Renfro and Rogers, and two wide outs will come to the left. Garrett Williams along with T. Higgins. E.T. in the running back behind Lawrence and to his right-hand side. Lawrence waits a shotgun snap, gets it. Going to throw and try to dump it to E.T. in and it's batted down as Anthony Jennings got up hands on it and was able to bat that pass down. So the incompletion on the very first play, second down and 10 for Clemson. Yeah, and great job. We had we actually had ETN wide open there. Jennings knocked the ball down. If ETN catches that, he's got a lot of space. We got exactly what we thought, Don, too high man underneath. And we should point out Miller is not in the game, number 47. Yeah, he is, has not opened up it at linebacker here. Lawrence awaits a shotgun snap, gets it, going to pitch it out. Left side, ETN trying to turn it upfield. Will get knocked out of bounds as he comes to the Clemson sideline. And will be knocked out of bounds close to the 27-yard line, it looks like. Maybe they mark it forward to the, yeah, mark it forward to the 28. So give him a pickup of three as Mac Wilson, the middle linebacker, came over there and put the shot on him. So here you go. First third down conversion, it's third and long. Third and seven for Clemson. And the ball rests at their own 28-yard line on the left hash. ETN comes and says something to Trevor Lawrence. Stack wide receivers to either side. Wide side of the field to the right. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap, wants to throw. Looks downfield, throws, and it's incomplete to Hunter Renfro. They were looking for a flag and didn't get it. Renfro got knocked down by Sertain, Patrick Sertain, the corner. But no flag on the play. And so it'll be a three-and-out situation for Clemson, and they only take 32 seconds off of wow. the clock, and they show the replay. Wow. And there was no doubt that was interference. And that was holding at yeah. worst. That was a holding play right there. But, again, if they're going to let them play, let them play. Let's don't call holding on the Tigers on, on this first initial defensive series. Yeah, Big Ten officiating crew here that is calling this game tonight is Jalen Waddle will go back deep, stand back around the 30-yard line to receive the kick. Here from Will Spires. Spires will take the snap and hit it away as Alabama came with a rush. Good floating kick. Waddle retreats inside the 25 and makes the fair catch at about the 22-yard line. They're actually going to mark it at the 21. A booming punt there by Spires. 51 That's his yards, best in a while. Yeah. 51 yards. 51-yard punt there for Clemson. So here comes Alabama, first down and 10 at their own 21-yard line. To a tongue of oil. The quarterback 
and Damian Harris will open up at running back, and they'll use basically a three-headed monster at running back. And they all look, I saw them on the, on the field early, Don. They all look exactly like uh, Henry, the exact same mold. Kind of a bunch set with wide outs to either side as Tungaloa going to throw it on first down, dumps it out, has it complete. That's Herb Smith, the tight end, right side along the sideline. He'll cross the 25 and will get knocked out of bounds at the Bama 29-yard line by Trayvon Mullen coming over and makes the stop. Now, Smith, very active at tight end for him. Yeah, Smith's a good player. but And, again, Alabama, like Clemson, runs a lot of run-pass options. That right there, he could have given the ball or he looked vertical, and then he threw it underneath. Pickup of eight, second down and two for Alabama. Their own 28-yard line with the ball in the right hash, wide side of the field left. Tungavaloa going to go off play action, throw again, and throws and has it complete. This time to Devontae Smith right in front of the Clemson sideline again across the 40 to the 41-yard line. And Trayvon Mullen is once again there to knock him out of bounds. But that will be a pickup of 13 and a first down. Well, that was a really good throw by Tua. Had pressure, had uh Joseph in his face right there and was able to get it up, get it away right before we got to him. Still Damian Harris, the running back. He'll be right behind Tungavaloa here on first down and 10 for Notre Dame with their own 41 on that right hash. Again, Tungavaloa going to throw, throws, and it's picked! Picked at the 45-yard line. It's going to be returned for six. Tungavaloa gets picked, and it's returned by A.J. Terrell for six. Oh, what a play for the Clemson defense. Once again, Coach Venables brings outside pressure. He brought a safety blitz, got into to his face. He tried to throw on time instead of throwing to an open receiver. A.J. undercut that. It was pick six all the way. It's only the fifth interception thrown by Tua all year versus 41 touchdown passes, but all five of his interceptions have come against ranked teams. Well, a pick six there for the Clemson Tigers as A.J. Terrell takes it to the house. His third interception of the season, the fourth in his career. And, Don, that's exactly what we were hoping to see. Don't let Tua stand in that pocket and read your defense, bring pressure, and make you make a decision. Here is Hugo for the point after, and his kick is up, and it is good. The 42-yard interception return by A.J. Terrell gives Clemson the 7-0 lead with 13-20 showing on the game clock here first quarter. Greenville Health System, Blue Ridge Orthopedics, proud to be the official team physicians for Clemson Athletics. Whether you're a serious athlete or a weekend warrior, GHS Orthopedics is here for you. For more information or to find a position near you, visit ghs.org. To break, we'll go 7-0 Clemson. This is Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. The pick six by A.J. Terrell, the return of 42, and Clemson out in front of Alabama, 7 to nothing with 13.20 to go here in this first quarter of play. Tiger fans, Bilo has everything you need and the best prices to get you ready for all the games. From all things wings to the ultimate nachos, game time guacamole, and don't forget those ice-cold beverages. Head to Bilo to get game day ready. Bilo, the official supermarket of the Clemson Tigers. The Tigers had a pick six early this year, Isaiah Simmons. Went 27 yards against Louisville, but it's the first pick six for the Tigers in a bowl game since Ben Bulware went 47 yards against Oklahoma in the uh, Citrus Bowl at the end of the right, 2014 Tim, season. When's the last time Alabama trailed? Come on now. A Citadel, I think they <laughs> yeah, trailed against they trailed the Citadel. Citadel. Yeah, they did. Remember, there was a tie Citadel. game at the half. That's I'm right. I'm sure the trailed at the Citadel. Right. We'll Josh, check to make sure. Josh Jacobs, along with Brian Robinson, are going to be back deep to return this this kick here from Hugel, or excuse me, B.T. Potter. B.T. Potter will tee it up at the 35-yard line and kick it away. B.T. make the run up and put that big right foot into it. Good high end over end kick. It's going to sail over the head and hit in the back of the end zone. Behind Josh Jacobs, the ball will come out. For a touchback. Hey, with that interception return, that's a Roto Rooter right on time turnover. Tiger fans, remember when you're in a plumbing bind, our friends at Roto Rooter can be at your house within 24 hours of your call. Roto Rooter, locally owned by Clemson alumni, proud partner of the Clemson Tigers. Actually, they trailed 28 14 in the second half against uh, Georgia. Okay. In the SEC championship game. All right, so Alabama, we know Coach Saban wants to run the ball, but he's, he's giving his quarterback the, the run pass option. Tigers are trying to make him throw the ball early on in that first drive. First down and 10, Alabama at their own 25 on that right hash as they move it from left to right. 
Tungvaloa going to turn, hand it to Harris. Harris trying to run it behind the right guard and tackle, and Tanner Muse comes up and is there to fill the hole along with Trey Lamar. So the safety and the middle linebacker combine, and, but it will be a pickup of about three as they work it forward to the 28-yard line. And see, Don, that was a give. That was not a run-pass right. option, and that's one of the things it's going to be interesting to see if, if Nick doesn't go over there and say, look, give the ball. We need to establish a running game instead of giving Tua the option. Second down and seven for Alabama from their own 28. Wide side of the field, left ball on that right half. Tungvalo again, give it to Harris. He breaks it up the middle, crosses the 30-35, breaking tackles and keeps on his feet as finally Kendall Joseph will chase him down at the 38-yard line. So a 10-yard pickup and a first down there for Alabama. Clock moving here at the 12:35 mark of this first quarter and 7-0 in favor of Clemson. Josh Jacobs will come in the ball game at running back, and it'll be off to the right-hand side of Tungvaloa. They put it on the left hash, wide side of the field right, Three wide receivers come that way, one of them being the tight end, Smith, and one lone wide receiver will go left. Tua looks at a four-man front. Clemson creeps up in the gaps. They're going to bring a blitz, and here they come with it. Picked up Tungvaloa going long, looking deep. Has a man open at the 20, hits him, and into the end zone goes Jerry Judy, the Belichnikoff winner. Got in behind Tanner Muse as they go at dial it up long and hit him. With a long touchdown, and just like that, we're an extra point away from being tied at 7 with 12.05 to go here in this first quarter of play. Yeah, the Tigers brought pressure there, so we had man coverage. I think it was, who was it? It was Muse. Uh, Muse. Yeah, yeah, Muse was back there, but but um, uh, Jacobs was able to pick the linebacker up or the blitzer up, which gave to a little bit enough time to be able to throw that vertical pass. 62-yard touchdown pass, and here is the point after, and it is on its way, and it is good. A little low shot, but got through there off the foot of Joseph Bullivus. So we are tied at 7 with 12.05 to go here as a scoring drive. Just three plays, 75 yards, and only a minute 15 off the clock. And as Clemson gives up the big pass play. Hey, grab a spoon. Doesn't matter which hand you use. Just make sure it's large enough to dig into a giant scoop of Clemson's Best Gourmet Ice Cream. Get the scoop at Clemson'sBest.com. Clemson's Best Gourmet Ice Cream, the favorite ice cream of the Clemson Tigers. To break, we go. And you're listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. ball game here in the national championship game between our Clemson Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. 12.05 to go first quarter. A following a win in tonight's championship, all academy sports and outdoors upstate locations will reopen immediately after the game. You can head on over to your nearest store location or shop online at academy.com. So the pick six by Clemson of 42 yards by Terrell and then Tungavaloa goes up and over the top to Jerry Judy for 62 to tie us at 7. Yeah, that's one of the things we've, you've watched Alabama do all year long is hit those big plays, and that's something different than uh, the previous Alabama teams or uh, historical Alabama teams are more of a run team. But there, the Tiger broke inside pressure, and Alabama did a good job of picking up Joseph and giving to it just that enough time. Jerry Judy made a double move and got behind Tanner Muse. So Bullivus will again tee it up at the 35 and get ready to put the right foot into it. His first one was fair caught by Kendrick at the three. Again, he'll hit a high kick, and again, Kendrick just going to signal for a fair catch and will make it at about the three-yard line, four-yard line. One more time, the ball will come out at the 25-yard line. Let's head down to the sideline. A quick State Farm sideline report brought to you by State Farm. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. Talk to an agent today, 800 State Farm. Early on in this game, Reg, what do you think? Well, I tell you what, one of the keys to the game, again, was to stay out of that third and long situation. And we had actually got a great punt out of that, switched the field, and luckily our defense was able to turn the ball over and score a touchdown. So, again, just got to get back in the rhythm of things, get, to, get, get, get everybody settled back down, and continue to convert these third downs. Clemson moves from right to left, ball at their own 25, and the ball on the left hash, wide side of the field right. Stack wide receivers to the left, and that's Higgins and Ross. ETN will move over to the left-hand side of Trevor Lawrence as he takes a snap. They'll fake it, and they'll throw it looking for Ross, and he just throws it high. And Trevor Lawrence points right to his chest and said, that one's on me. So maybe there's a little bit of the jiggers from, uh, from the uh, freshman quarterback right there. Well, one of the, he saw exactly what he wanted to do. We had, as you said, stack. They only had one defender out there. They had a safety over the top. He's trying to throw that ball without the laces. 
sometimes the ball gets a little slippery, and like you said, I think he's just a little ramped up. Second down and 10. Lawrence wants to throw again. Throws, has it complete to Ross. Flag is thrown. We may get a holding call here, possibly, because that was thrown right in the interior portion of the line. Again, a Big Ten officiating crew here tonight. As we, the officials are talking it over. The pass was complete to Ross, and it comes out across the 30-yard line. Personal foul, tripping. Offense. Wow. John Simpson called for tripping. That may be the first time we've seen that call the entire year. Wow. So the ball will get pushed back all the way to the 13, 12-and-a-half-yard line. And it'll be second down all over again. That's a huge call right there. So they move the ball back to the, officially the 13. We'll call it second down and 22. Yeah, because the Tigers had completed that out cut to, to yep. Ross, and we're going to have third and short. Yep. Second down and long, second and 22. Ball just shy of the 13-yard line. Renfro goes in motion from left to right. So three wide receivers to the wide side of the field to the right. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap, fakes it to ETN, throws, has a complete Travion Thompson, and Thompson will come out across the 20, close to the 22-yard line. They'll pick up nine on the play as Xavier McKinney, the strong safety, was there on the stop. But third down and long here for Clemson. Third and 14. They're 0 of 1 so far in third down conversions. Remember, their first drive was a three and out. I like that decision by Trevor, understanding that Try to pick up a look. You don't need it all in one play. So third and 14 for Clemson with the ball on the right hash. Wide side of the field left. Stack wide receivers to either side. Rim as Lawrence takes a shotgun snap. Has time. Going to throw it down the middle. Got a man open. That's Higgins at the 45, 40, 30, 25. And he's tackled inside the Alabama 20-yard line. What a perfect pass. He's right down the, at the scene. 17 of Alabama. And just like Tua on that last drive, Alabama brings a little pressure. The Tigers do a good job in picking it up. And now it's athlete versus athlete. T. Higgins wins that battle. So into the red zone we go. The Tigers have been, have been excellent inside the red zone this season. A pickup of 62. How about that? A 62-yard touchdown pass from Tua. And here's a 62-yard pass from Lawrence. He'll hand it off and give it to Etienne coming left side. Etienne cuts it to the 15. He's at the 10. At the 5. Stays on his feet. Hit it for the end zone and in. ETN refused to go down. Scores from 17. Clemson retakes the lead. 13-7 with 10.35 left here first quarter. And what I love about that is, one, the Tigers, that was a give play to ETN. It was a sweep. It was a wide play. ETN breaks two tackles. Alabama's not seen this kind of speed in the perimeter. Perfect example there. They looked to me like they were almost jogging. ETN breaks two tackles to get into zone. So here's Hugo on for the point after the snap. Will be done by Patrick Fibbs, and of course, it'll be Will Sweeney that will take care of the hold. As Clemson retakes the lead by six. Snap, hold, and Hugel's point after is up, and it is good. So the Tigers respond back. They go four plays, 75 yards, a minute 30 off the clock. Scoring drive brought to you by our good friends at the South Carolina Beef Council. Remember, Tiger fans, you can score big this season by enjoying delicious and healthy beef at your next tailgate. Off to break will go, 14-7. Clemson leading it, 10-35 to go, first quarter. This is South of Orange Clemson football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Yard pass from Lawrence. He'll hand it off and give it to ETN coming left side. ETN cuts it to the 15, he's at the 10, at the 5, stays on his feet, hit it for the end zone and in. ETN refused to go down. Scores from 17. Clemson retakes the lead. 13-7 with 10.35 left here first quarter. The ETN 17-yard touchdown, and Tigers take a 14-7 lead. Fans, you're dedicated to your team. Rocket Mortgage dedicated to you because when it comes to buying a home, the right way should be the only way. Rocket Mortgage, proud mortgage partner of the Clemson Tigers. So we haven't played five minutes yet. The score is 14-7. We're on pace for a final score of 168 to 94. <laughs> as long as we so, got the 168, it's yeah, fine with that. Right. Exactly Clemson right. would have the 168. Well, we, we talked about the depth issue at Alabama, and I, I, I still believe if this turns into a track meet, this favors the Tigers because we have the depth to, to run up and down this field. I'm very surprised that ETM was able to get to the corner right there and break those two tackles. Yeah, you're right, Rodney. That was a great sign, and it was a great block on the corner. Uh, was it Renfro? Renfro, yeah. yeah. He sealed that corner and ETN made a couple guys miss. 
So Jacobs and Robinson both back deep to return the kickoff here from Potter. His first one was a touchback, which is nothing new for BT. BT puts a foot into it. Good high end over end kick. And it'll be a fair catch by Jacobs in the end zone. Then it'll become a touchback. So Potter now with 108 kickoffs this season and 74 of them have either been a touchback or a call for a fair catch to bring it out to the 25-yard line. Well, that's another example of what did we talk about three or four years ago? We're like, oh, we need somebody that could kick. We need special right. teams. And Coach Sweeney and the staff went after it, and, and they put an emphasis on special teams, and, and you've seen that the last couple of years. First down and 10 for Alabama. They're moving it from left to right here in this first quarter. 14-10, Clemson leading at 10-35, showing on that first quarter clock. Tunga Valoa will go shotgun. They'll have Jacobs. Now we'll move right behind a little pistol look, and they'll turn hand it to Jacobs. Jacobs taking it left side, pushing the pile forward across the 30, and he'll work his way forward close to the 32-yard line. So a nice run of seven there for Josh Jacobs, which is nothing new. He averages 5.4 yards per carry coming in. Kendall Joseph along with Cleveland Furl, a weak side linebacker in the defensive end combining on the stop. And second down and short, though, second and three. Don, something we saw in practice, James Skowski in there playing yep. as a run stopper. Ball right in the middle of the field. Bunch set here for, for Alabama. Dunga Valoa going to throw it. Throws it out in the flat to Herb Smith, and he's tackled and brought down for a loss. Kayvon Wallace just sprinted from his strong safety position and tackled him right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. That'll bring up third down and three. That's great open field tackling. Well, we've talked about it week in and week out. One of the strengths of this defense is open field tackle. Very few times this year have we seen the Tigers secondary, especially the secondary, miss that open field tackle. Third down and three for Alabama. On third down conversions this year, they're better than 50%. 80 of 152, 54% this season. Ball rest is on that left hash, wide side of the field, right, three wide outs there. Clemson showing like they may be coming with a blitz. Tango Valoa sees that, takes the shotgun snap, wants to throw. Throws across the middle, has it complete across the 45. And out to the 47-yard line goes Devontae Smith. And he's tackled there by Muse and A.J. Terrell along joining on the tackle. So a first down for Alabama at their own 47-yard line. And they'll put the ball just inside the left hand. He was well covered by Ter uh, A.J. He just put that ball right on the money. No, he's, he's been on the money. You watch him, and he, he throws dimes now. First down and 10, Alabama from their own 47. Tunga Valoa again will go shotgun. Jacobs the back off to his left-hand side. Wants to throw again across the middle. Has it complete once again to Smith. And Smith into Clemson territory across the 45. Where he's going to be tackled by Kayvon Wallace. And Wallace will make the tackle, but not before that's another first down for Alabama. As they now have it at the Clemson 42. Yeah, and again, that's a run pass option. That slant play, we've got to get the inside Leverage to start off with, not give the Alabama receivers that inside break. And a timeout called here by Clemson. Brent Venables Charge saw something that he did not 20, like, 20, 20, and so they call a timeout. And so that will stop the clock at the 8.28 mark of this first quarter of play. 14-7 in favor of Clemson, but here's Alabama once again moving the football and in Clemson territory at the 42-yard line. And what we've seen is exactly what we kind of expected to see. They... They want to run the ball, but they're not going to run the ball. They've only called two, to my knowledge, it looks like two automatic gives. The rest of them have been run pass options, and, and they like throwing that slant just like we do, just like Trevor does. He likes to see if that linebacker or that safety comes up in that box to play run support, we're going to throw that slant because there's nobody inside. We've got to do a better job of lining up and not giving them that is inside. And what you do, you say kind of like the you want to stop the run or stop the pass. You take away the inside and force them to beat you on the perimeter. When you go all out, drive an SUV that's all out, all in, check out Ford's unstoppable lineup of smart and dramatically designed SUVs at your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of the Clemson Tigers. So first down and 10, Tunga Valoa takes a shotgun snap, play action again, wants to throw, looking across the middle, and goes and throws, has it complete to Smith, the tight end across the Tiger 25, and he'll carry the tackler forward down to the Clemson 21-yard line. Kayvon Wallace was there on the coverage of the tight end, but again, they're, used, they're going to use that big guy effectively. Smith came in with 40 catches on the year. Yeah, and that was just a that was a uh, great job of the offensive line, keeping the Tiger defensive front away from Tuga. He was able to sit back there, and when you got that much time, nobody can cover a, 
a receiver that long. First down and 10 for Alabama at the Clemson 21. They operate off the left hash. Tunga Valoa again goes play action. Here comes some pressure, and he just has to flip it out to his left to get rid of that football. As Cleveland Furl was coming and putting pressure along with Christian Wilkins. So really the first time tonight that we see them put pressure on Tunga Valoa, and he just had to kind of dish it off to a back that was over in the flat left side. Yeah, you're right. That is the first time Tigers got a good push right there. But again, Alabama's throwing the ball, that yep. run-pass option. So second down and 10. Now you got both two backs in the in the game. Josh Jacobs along with Najee Harris. And it's Harris that will line up right behind Tunga Valoa. They put Jacobs over in a slot right side. Tunga Valoa will take it, hand it off, give it to Harris. Coming right side, has blockers, crosses the 15, and gets inside the 15 and falls forward close to the 11-yard line. And that should be very close to a first down. And I believe they're going to be just a little bit shy. And actually... Mark the ball at the 11 and a half yard line as Kendall Joseph was there on the stop. But third and short, third and less than a yard. Alabama one of one so far in third down conversions. Tunga Valoa will go shotgun and both of those backs, Jacobs and Harris, will split him on either side. Two wide outs to the wide side of the field to the left and one to the right. Tunga Valoa takes a snap, hands it off, and will give it to Harris. And Harris takes it up the gut and will push it inside the 10 to the 9. He'll pick up two and a first down. First and goal, Alabama at the Clemson 9-yard line. With the clock moving, 7-10 and counting here. First quarter, 14-7, Clemson out in front. Alabama already with 158 yards total offense. 129 passing, 29 rushing. So first and goal here for Alabama. They're very good in the red zone, 63 of 75, 84%, 53 touchdowns this season. That's 71% of the time. Tungle Lowe will go shotgun with Harris off to his left-hand side, bring a man in motion, and they'll give it to Harris looking for blocking coming right side. He gets inside the five, stretches for the end zone. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Touchdown. And we're an extra point away from being tied at 14 with 637 left here, just first quarter. Yeah, and Harris... Doesn't look like he's that quick. He's just kind of gliding through there. Patient. Patient, letting his blockers set up. He is going to be down, I believe, just short of the goal line, though. Yeah, we're going to look at this as we watch on the big replay clock. Yeah, I'm, I'm like you. I think he may be down. They have not buzzed down to the officiating crew. We'll see if this stands or not. And actually, now they are telling the officials to hold here. Maybe they are reviewing the touchdown, as all touchdowns have to be reviewed. And they are going to ask the officials to come out and take a look at this. The play is under further review. The play will be under further review now. And, Rodney, I'm like you. I, I think this is going to be it. It's going to be down about yeah. a half yard short, well, a foot, yeah, we'll you, say. Yeah, I just don't know. Looking at that, he may have gotten in because his elbow doesn't go down. His thigh. His yeah, knees his down. thighs are down. Okay. Yep. We just had the big screen to kind of look at. His thigh touches the, yeah, I'm with. Right there. Yeah, so I think he's shy. I think you're right. By about a half yard. Yep. And you say, all right, well, that doesn't mean a whole yeah, lot. It, but does. it means everything. You've got to take a snap. Yeah, you, you have, have to take a snap. You turn the, remember, they turned it over in this position against Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Yep. Actually, a play that was reversed, but it looked like it was going to be, going to be a turnover. It got reversed on review. Anytime you have to take a snap, anything can happen. <laughs> That's Remember, an old quarterback talking right there. <laughs> you got, and, and here's the thing, especially for but either one of these teams, you very seldom see them underneath the center. Well, the center, everybody's about leverage, right? They're trying to get low. Well, that center drops that butt, and if you don't ride your center in there and you're not used to doing it on a every snap basis, that becomes a, could be a, become an issue, and that ball can very easily hit the quarterback's fingertips and bounce down. So. So it means something to stop them right there short of the goal line. We're up here in the Founders Federal Credit Union broadcast booth here at Levi Stadium, the national championship game here in Santa Clara, California. The runner was down at the half-yard line. The ball will be placed on the half-yard line. It will be second down and goal. The clock will start on the ready for play. So the line the clock, it shows 637 right now. So second and goal inside the one. Clemson will bring their goal line defense in. Let's see what Alabama will do here, if they'll go heavy in any way, sh shape, or form. 
They wind the clock and get it rolling. Tungabaloa will bring him out of the huddle. The deep back is Damian Harris. And they'll fake it. Tungabaloa going to take it, throw to the back of the end zone. Got a man wide open and touchdown. And that is Hentges. Hale Hentges, the tight end, was wide open for six. And so we are an extra point away from being tied with 623 left here first quarter. Yeah, really good play fake there and just a bootleg, naked bootleg, and your tight end kind of running the back of the zone. It's good to go to the left side because Tua throws left-handed, so that was an easy pitch and catch. Here's Bulibus for the point after out of the hold of Mac Jones, the third-string quarterback. Snap, hold, and the kick is on its way. It hits the upright, and it bounds back no good. Bulibus misses the extra point. And that's nothing new for him. He's missed five this season. Make it now six. He just clanked it off the right upright. So Clemson with a one-point lead at 14-13 with 6.23 to go here and, in this first quarter of play. And, Don, me and a couple of the coaches will remain nameless down there watched him kick in warm-ups, and I bet he missed seven kicks really? inside the 20-yard line. And I just looked at him. I said, there's no way he's the starter. And they go, yeah, that's the guy. Well, it's been a bugaboo all season long for him. That scoring drive, by the way, for Alabama, 10 plays, 75 yards, and took 412 off the clock with the extra point miss. And so Clemson still with a one-point lead here at 14-13. Back down to the sideline will go for a State Farm sideline report. Brought to you by State Farm. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. Talk to an agent today at 800 State Farm. Reggie, we... We're getting a little bit of an offensive juggernaut between these two ball clubs. Yeah, you kind of expect that, too, with the two high-powered offenses. But Dabo Sweeney down here on the sideline in the ref's face uh, for the holding call that they didn't call down here. And, and he's, uh, he's out here coaching hard. But obviously, the goalpost this weekend is uh, beating some teams. So. Yeah, they yeah. cost the Chicago Bears in the playoff game against the Eagles. And we'll have to see if this extra point comes back to haunt. Alabama or not. The thing about it now, guys, is that you're just you start. When do you start chasing points? Right. That, that's, that's right. That's the big question mark. And 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 as we know, we've seen it before. Kicker is, is those guys. It gets in their head. Now you're starting to press and you 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 try to do something different. You change your routine. We talked about Dabo and his coaching staff and the routine. He's got these players in. Well, a kicker's got a routine. He's he's got a way he does it every time. And if he he misses that now. He puts pressure on himself, and it is amazing how it changes the mindset of an athlete when you start, when that heartbeat gets high and you start doing something different than what you train to do. Well, Alabama has been consistently moving the football, that's for sure. Already 170 yards of offense, 130 of that through the air. Clemson with 90 yards of offense here in this first half, with 70 of that through the air. But the pick six certainly looming big, and Anytime that you can get a, a defensive touchdown or a special teams touchdown, that's always a good thing. But Clemson up by a point right now at 14-13 as the teams will come back out on the field for the kickoff here. Two is trying to become the first quarterback in uh, NCAA history to have a passing efficiency rating over 200 for the course of the season. He was at 204 coming in. So far, 8 for 10 for 130 yards, two touchdowns, and even with the interception, his passing efficiency for the game so far is 235. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty doggone good. So Bullibus will tee it up at the 35-yard line and get ready to kick it away. Kendrick back deep to receive this kick. He's come up with a fair catch on both of the first two. Bullibus this season. Has kicked it off now 118 times. Here's 119, and Kendrick will come up and will take the ball at the seven and call a fair catch there. So this seems to be the ploy of, of Clemson because it's a lot of hang time, a lot of air underneath that ball, and they want to get, make sure they get that ball out of the 25-yard line and where you can start a drive. Yeah, well, we've seen the last two years, prior, the prior two years, Alabama, instead of kicking it through the zone, they were doing a really good job of their kicker kicking the ball with a lot of hang time yep. inside between the 10 and 5 yard line and giving their their uh, coverage team time to get down there and so now you're starting one or two first downs back instead of now the new rule take the, take the uh, the fair catch and you got it at 25. First down and 10 for Clemson at their own 25. They move it from right to left. 
And Wars will go off the action. Rolls out to his right side, looks, throws, and wants Renfro. The ball is batted away for him along the Alabama sideline there to the right. He's coming over and batting it away was McKinney, the strong safety they had on him. One thing's for sure, Alabama knows all about 13. <laughs> I'm not going to let that guy beat them here. That's yes. good coverage, though. Yeah, just a good coverage. Trevor was a little late. He should have got it to him. He is open. But still good coverage, good route. I like the play call. Already the third time in this game, though, that Clemson's had second down and 10. Second down and 10. And Lawrence will hand it off and give it to ETN, and he'll be buried. Lose yardage. All the way back to the 22-yard line. Middle of that Alabama defense was coming through. Quinn and Williams, they're all everything nose guard, along with Mac Wilson, the middle linebacker, were there to lead the charge. So it's a loss actually back to the 21, a loss of four on the play. And here is third down and 14 for Clemson, and Clemson one of two so far in third down conversions here in this game. Clock moves at the 5.50 mark, and Clemson up a point, 14-13. Etienne still the running back will be off the left-hand side of Lawrence. That ball just inside the left hash. Lawrence will take the shotgun snap, back to throw. Has time, looks, throws, and it's going to be incomplete. And once again, Clemson was looking for a flag as they were looking for Renfro over there along the sideline. McKinney was there on the coverage. And he, he must have gonna, fallen got, down because... He got run out of bounds. Yeah. He pushed him out of bounds. He pushed him out of yeah, bounds. pushed him. And no call. Wow. So, punting time here for Clemson. Yeah, it looks like the guys are going to let 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 they're him gonna play. Let, they're going to let him play. And, and, and like I go said, get it. Yeah. let them play on both sides because last week it seemed like they were calling it kind of one one sided. So here on fourth and fourteen, here is Spires on to punt it away. His first punt was a boomer of fifty one. Going to rugby style this kick, and he'll kick it down the right hash ball will hit and roll and be picked up at the 40-yard line, and they were turned up that left sideline by Waddle, and he'll step out of bounds. Are they actually going to mark him? It looks like they going to mark him out of bounds at the Alabama 48. So a punt of 39, a return of 8. It's only a, a net of 31 on that punt. And Alabama will have it in great field position. First down and 10 at their own 48-yard line. They move it from left to right, and they will put that ball over on the left hash, wide side of the field will be the right. So Harris, Najee Harris, will be the running back off to the right-hand side of Tungavaloa. So he sends two wide outs to either side. Now we'll bring a man in motion, and that is Josh Jacobs. Tungavaloa wanting to throw, looks, throws, and has it complete, and that's going to be Judy to the left sideline, and Judy will get beyond the first down sticks and be just at right at the Clemson 40. So a pickup of 12 as Trayvon Mullen was there on the coverage, but a first down for Alabama. Yeah, another good job of keeping the Tiger defensive front off of Tua. He has that much time. We're going to, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Yeah, no We've doubt. got to continue to get him on his back foot. Still Najee Harris, the running back off of the left-hand side of Tunga Below. They hand it to Harris. Harris breaks a tackle inside the 35-30, stays on his feet, and will carry Isaiah Simmons for a couple of yards. Down close to the Clemson 27-yard line. And that'll be another first down. A pickup of 13 on that play. First down and 10 for Alabama. And they are moving the football against uh, this Clemson defense. Harris, four carries for 33 yards. Alabama, 195 yards total offense, averaging 11 yards a play. Tungabaloa will go shotgun. He'll have... Najee Harris off to his left-hand side as he waits for the shotgun snap ball almost right in the middle of the field. Tungvaloa takes his snap, back to throw. Throws across the middle, and it is caught at about the 15-yard line. And once again, that'll be Jerry Judy. And Judy will make the grab at the 15, so back again, another first down, a pickup of 12, as Isaiah Simmons was there on the coverage. But a first down at the Clemson 15-yard line here for Alabama. Yeah, and that's great coverage. Just a really... Not a great throw, but a, a throw out in front of Jones, and he was, uh, I mean, Jerry Judy, and he was able to get his hands down there. Isaiah Simmons was all over him. It was just a good good play by the uh, Alabama offense. Damian Harris now back in the ball game at running back. will be off the to Tungvaloa's left-hand side. Wide side of the field left. Two wide outs go there, and one comes right. Tungvaloa will turn and will hand it off, and will give it to Damian Harris coming right side, and he'll be inside the 10, down to the 9. He'll pick up 6 on the play. So he just ran right behind the right tackle. 
as A.J. Terrell has to come up along with Kendall Joseph. So the corner and the weak side linebacker combined on the stop. And second down and four for Alabama at the Clemson nine-yard line. And this is where Tua likes to throw that slant, run pass option, get the safety coming in the box. Damian Harris still the running back. will be right behind Tungvalu as they go a little pistol look here. Two wide outs either side. Now Harris will move over to the left-hand side. Tungvalu takes a shotgun snap, gives it to Harris. Harris tries to turn it up that right hash and will find maybe about a yard. Works his way forward to the eight. So third down and short. Third and three for Alabama at the Clemson eight-yard line. The middle portion of that defense led by Albert Huggins was there on the stop. Let's see what Alabama will do here on third and three at the Clemson eight. Ball on that right hash, wide side of the field left as Alabama moves it from left to right. 247 and counting here, first quarter, 14-13. Clemson a one-point lead. Alabama two of two in third down conversions. And Tungabalo will take, hand it off, give it to Harris. Bounces off, tackles, and it'll be close to the six-yard line, which will be close to the first down. It, this depends upon the spot. This really does, and they're going to say fourth down. They're not going to say first down. All right, so the first big decision here. He's got to go Nick for Saban, it. Given, he is going to go for it. Yep. Given way his kicker's been all year long. Yeah, it's like an extra point yeah, no from, joke. from there. So Alabama will go for it here on fourth down. Fourth and really less than a yard. Well, almost in the middle of the field. Closer to the right hash than to the left, but almost right there in the middle. And they'll go a little wildcat here as Josh Jacobs will sit up as quarterback. Snap to Jacobs. He's going to take it, run it. Gets to the five-yard line, stays on his feet, and works his way down into about the two. So they go for it on fourth. Alabama now five of ten on fourth downs, but Albert Huggins was there on the stop. So they want to run a little wildcat with Jacobs, and he's able to pick up four and a first down, first and goal from the two. Yeah, that was really not even a a choice there, I think, by... Alabama, given their their kicking woes this season. So first and goal, the two tongue of a low will check up under center. Damian Harris, the deep back behind him. Tanks, gives it to Damian Harris, tries it up the middle, works his way to about the one, maybe the half-yard line. And it'll be second and goal just inside the one. Now that's old Alabama offense that's right just there. coming right at you. you got a full backfield. You turn around, you're under center, you turn around and hand it to your big... 240-pound running back. Austin Bryan and Cleland Furl were there to lead the charge on that tackle, but Clemson needs a defensive stand here. Second and goal at the one. Tungvalu again will check up in their center with Damian Harris, the deep back behind him. Tungvalu with tanks, pitches it out to Harris, left side. Flags are down. Did somebody move? Yes, somebody for Alabama moved. That's huge. Instead of at the one, they'll move it back to the six. That's the first penalty against Alabama. Offense, yep. 74. Five-yard penalty, second down. So it was Willis, the right tackle, to Derek Willis, the right tackle that started early. And that will back it to the six. And now you, open and up, now you open up that run pass option. We've got to get a, do a good job. Our cornerbacks are getting an inside leverage of those, run, those receivers. Don't give them the slant. Make them beat you on the perimeter. Niles Pickney checks in the ball game at defensive tackle for Clemson. They show a four-man front. Tungvaloa will check up under center. Again, Damian Harris, the deep back behind him. Tungvaloa going to look, left side throw, have it complete, and that's Henry Ruggs. And Ruggs will get tackled at the four by Isaiah Simmons, the strong side linebacker. So here it is, third and goal for Alabama. The ball resting at the Clemson four-yard line on the left hash. Just 20 seconds and clock moving here in this first quarter of play. 14-13, Clemson with the lead. I don't think that Alabama wants to run another play. I think they want to get to the quarter break and then talk this thing over exactly what they want to do. And the ball really is at the three-and-a-half-yard line. So really, officially, they'll call it the three as we'll come to the end of the first quarter. Stations, why don't we pause? That is the Ten end seconds of the first quarter. Here for station identification as you are listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network, powered by JMI Sports. 14-13, Clemson a one-point lead, but Alabama with the ball third and goal at the Clemson three when we come back to start the second quarter. This is Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Oh. 
Well, we'll head to the second quarter here in Santa Clara. Levi Stadium, national championship game, Clemson and Alabama. Don Munson, Rodney Williams, Tim Bure with you from the Founders Federal Credit Union broadcast booth. Our man Reggie Merriweather working the State Farm sidelines. And hey, college sports fans, at Sirius XM, you get it all and all at the press of a button. Listen to your kind of music, commercial free, plus everything entertainment, every kind of comedy, and of course, coverage of every major sport, including Clemson football. So tune in to the best of the best. Alabama 224 yards total offense in the first half to 86 for the Tigers. Somehow Clemson leads at the end of the first quarter 14 to 13. That pick six by A.J. Thoreau is huge. Ball at the three and a half yard line. Third and goal for Alabama. They flip the field. Alabama now moving it from right to left. And the ball on the left hash wide set of the field right. Three wide receivers go that way in a triangle set. Damian Harris will be the running back and will be off to the left-hand side here of Tua Tungabaloa as he sits up in shotgun. Hunts in a four-man front. Tungabaloa looks over the defense. And Oasis shotgun snap brings a man in motion. Now sends him back out to the right side. Tungabaloa takes it, looking for the inside. Pitch has it, and it's read perfectly by Clemson. They pitch it to Damian Harris, and Austin Bryant was there to tackle him for a loss. Back to the Clemson seven-yard line. Ball right in the middle of the field, so that'll bring on the field goal unit here for Alabama. And that, my friends, is a big stop defensively for Clemson, and that false start penalty big looms big. No question. Great job there, that little shuttle pass. Everybody playing their assignment. Great film work right there. They knew exactly what was going to happen. We had pressure on Tua, and we had a running back cover for a loss. Now it's up to the kicking team. Bull of us. The 25-yard field goal. The kick is on its way, and it will split the uprights, and Alabama will take a two-point lead at 16-14 here with 14-18 to go here in this second quarter of play. Reggie, I know that, uh, let me first tell you, scoring drive, another long scoring drive, 11 plays, 45 yards, and 6.07 off the clock. But, But, Reggie, that's, that, when you get down to it, is a win for the Clemson defense now. they hold Alabama to that field goal. That is a win. That is a huge win. 16-14 instead of it being 20-14. to And I tell you what, we're seeing a lot of hands on hips right now. Clemson's offense has to come back out. They have to put a drive together to give this defense some gas. Because right now I see a lot of hands on hips and a lot of guys getting water. Yeah, that, now we talked about the, we've got a lot of depth, but Two back-to-back 10-play drives, yep. that's one of the things that I, I actually heard made sense today with one of the analysis, one of the analysts, and that was their offense and their slow, long right. drives it helps their defense stay fresh. That's why they think that the numbers they have, even though it's down, they don't play as many guys, they'll stay fresher because their offense controls the ball and the, and the, the, the game so often. Kendrick, back to receive... The kick here of Bullivus, and Bullivus hits it off the side of his foot, and it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds inside the 10. That will force the ball out to the 35-yard line, and for Bullivus, that is the fourth kick this season out of bounds for him. So great field position for Clemson. He'll push the ball all the way out to the 35-yard line, first down and 10. And what do we say? That's a, that's a, a first down and a half, right? Yeah, that's exactly. one more. That's great field position. Yep. And you get... Three first downs, now you're in field goal range versus back at the 25. Right. And now your defense has to, their defense has to play a little differently. Yep. Pollard in at right guard in place of Gabe Savenka. And Tavian Feaster will get his first taste of the ball game at running back. He'll line up right behind Lawrence. Three wide outs will go to the left side, and one will go to the right. That's Higgins. As Clemson drives it from left to right, and they work off the right half. Lawrence will take Feaster, move him off the left-hand side. Lawrence wants to throw, looks downfield, throws, and wants... And he gets once Higgins and gets a finally a flag call. They throw the flag on number four, and that is Savion Smith, and that is going to be there for a hold or pass interference, one of the two. Now, Debo Sweeney been working that sideline pass judge. Defense number four, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Then I'll move the ball out to the 50 yard line, yeah. first down and ten. And great job there by uh, by Tavion Feaster. They brought a weak side, excuse me, a strong side. Uh, outside backer blitz there. He was able to pick it up. That's why they had man coverage outside. Trevor had enough time, and then he just got the, the holding power of the uh, pass interference. First down and 10 right at the 50. Lawrence 
Left Feaster off to his right-hand side. Takes the shotgun snap. Looks left now. Comes right. Gets it to Feaster. Feaster makes a man miss. Turns it upfield. 40, 35, 30. Inside the 30 he goes and will cross the 25 and finally get run down from behind at the Alabama 24-yard line. A pickup of 26. Dylan Moses, the weak side linebacker, along with LeBrian Ray, a backup defensive end, had to chase him down. And Clemson wants to go tempo. First down and 10 of the Bama 24. And they'll... Lawrence will keep it on the quarterback uh, option as he faked the handoff there to Feaster, but kept it and turned it upfield, and Dylan Moses comes up and gives him a shot at the 23-yard line. So a pickup of a yard, second down and nine. Previous pass play was a 26-yarder. Feaster's longest reception all year was only nine yards prior right. to that play. Second down and nine for Clemson. The ball resting at the Alabama 23 on that right hash. Wide side of the field left. Two wide outs there and one to the right. That is Ross. Lawrence will take snap. Give it to Feaster. Up the middle he'll go. He'll get inside the 20. Work his way down to the 19-yard line. A pickup of four. And that'll set up at least third down and manageable here for Clemson. Third and five. The ball resting at the Alabama 19-yard line, and ETN will come back in the ball game at running back. And Amari Rogers back in. Have yep. not targeted him yet. Let's see if there works something for him. Yeah, Rogers, Ross, and Renfro all go left. Higgins, the lone wide out that will come right. He's got man-to-man. Clemson, one of three in third down conversions. Third and five at the Alabama 19. Clemson down up here. 16-14. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap and wants to throw. Has a man open, and they hit him, and that's Higgins. Inside the 15, the 10, and Higgins finally dragged down on that left sideline inside at the 6-yard line. Actually, at the 5 is where they'll mark it. Rodney Higgins came all the way across the field. Yep. That took a long time to develop. I was about to say, Tim, great job by the offensive line, the front, giving Trevor enough time because when you're playing man, they're crossing. That's the toughest route to cover. But if they give Trevor enough time to sit back and, and survey the field, he's going to find the open receiver. ETN still the running back. First and goal at the Alabama five. They work off the left hash. Wide side of the field right. Handoff will go ETN up the middle. He goes, hits backers. Tra- driving for the end zone. Does he get there? No. He's going to be a half yard shy. ETN just took on that Alabama linebacker, Moses, and just drove him back. Yeah, you got to love that. I mean, you're right. That was linebacker on running back, and ETM wins that battle right inside the one-yard line. It's about a half-yard line. Second and goal at the one for Clemson. Clock moving, 11:45 and counting second quarter. 16-14, Alabama leads it. Hand off, ETN, his second touchdown. Clemson retakes the lead. 11:38 to go here. Second quarter, the Tigers up four at 20 to 16. Really, really impressive drive there. Started with great field position, Don. Then we got the offensive pass interference call. Now we kind of open things up. The offensive line doing a good job. We established a run. Really, really great screenplay call by this offensive staff, understanding the tendencies of Alabama's defense. That big play for for Feaster got us in the uh, red zone. Here is Hugel on for the point after out of the hold of Sweeney, the snap by Patrick Fibbs. Good snap, good hold, and Hugel's point after will split the pipes, and Clemson will take a 21-16 lead here at the 11:38 mark of this second quarter. A scoring drive that goes six plays, 65 yards, and takes 2:40 off the clock. Our scoring roundup brought to you by your local South Carolina Beef Council. Remember, Tiger fans, you score big this season by enjoying delicious and healthy beef at your next tailgate. To break, we go. This is Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Hand off ETN, his second touchdown. Clemson retakes the lead. 11.38 to go here. Second quarter, the Tigers up four at 20 to 16. The 37th career rushing touchdown for Travis ETN in his young career at Clemson. And the Tigers have it. A lead at 21 to 16. He's got 24 rushing touchdowns this year. 25 yep. all overall. The ACC record is 26 by James Conner of Pittsburgh. So really, really time. like that that response there, guys. Yeah, it was a great response. They took advantage of good field position. What I what I've seen is it looks to me like the offensive staff and Trevor, most importantly, is recognizing what Alabama is trying to do. Now, sometimes we don't win the play. But they're not, they haven't tricked him. And I like seeing that. 
Well, it started with the out-of-bounds kick. Right. Gave the ball at the 35. The pass interference call. All of a sudden, you're at the 50. Clemson didn't look back from there. Yeah. And, again, a great call by the offensive staff. After that interference call, they ran the screen to, to yeah, feast third and five. Yeah, picked up, what, 26 yards, I think. So, great, great drive. Here is Potter on the, for the kickoff. Jacobs and Robinson both back deep. Out of a run up, put that right foot into it. Good high end over end kick. Jacobs just going to let it sail by him and hit in the end zone. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will come out to the 25 yard line where Alabama will set up there first down and 10. All right, now defensively, you got to find a way to stop them. Let's get a stop well, in Reggie, this game. You get a stop, and you'll be good. Yeah, well, the, Alabama came into this uh, this game leading the country in third down conversions, and, and they've not disappointed. And Reggie talked about it. We've got to be able to get them off the field. The defense likes to call it. The money down, and right now Alabama's winning. They they got more money in the bank than we do, and we gotta. But you have to get them in third and long. You can't get them in third and short. We saw that the difference in that uh, procedure penalty in the red zone. First down and ten. To a tongue below, it takes the handoff, turns and gives it to Jacobs. Jacobs coming left side, crosses the thirty, and he'll carry it forward close to the thirty-two yard line. So again, good good production on first down for Alabama. They're playing ahead of the stakes right now. Second down and three. Yeah, and that's that, that's no. Every offense likes to play ahead of the stakes, yep. and especially when you got the athletes Alabama does. Now you really, now you look for some kind of big hit on the outside vertically because you're ahead of the game. Empty backfield here. Three wideouts will go right, two will go left. Think of Aloha. Looks at a four-man defensive front. Now he's going to bring Jacobs from the left side and set him up over to his right-hand side. Takes the shotgun snap, gives it to Jacobs. Jacobs trying to find running room coming left side and will work his way forward to the 34-yard line. That'll be a yard shy of the first down, third and one. All right, now you got an opportunity, guys. Make a play, get off the field. See if you can stop this Alabama offense. They go tempo, they go hurry up. Alabama 2 of 4 and third down. Tungvaloa hands it off to Jacobs, and he'll be hit. Did he get stopped? Yes, sir. Shy? Is he stopped shy of the 35, or are they going to mark it right at the 35? He and had the to... official from our sideline comes, and it looks like he's going to mark him shy of the 35-yard line. But that ball, and it will be shy, inches shy of the 35. What does Nick Saban do here? Do you go for it this deep in your own territory at your own 35-yard line? You're playing for the national championship. It looks like he's going to say yes. And he's going to bring in a heavy package here. Extra tight ends come in. Damian Harris going to check back in the ball game as well. Yeah, they're only like four inches shy. Yep. And remember, they went wildcat on the last fourth down. Don't sell out all the way, though. Clemson, do you can get a again. touchdown on you. Jacobs will go wildcat, takes a direct snap, looks up the middle, crosses the 35 and has the first down. The gamble, the roll of the dice there by Saban, and it works. Twice they've gone for it on fourth down. Twice they have converted. The tackle was made by Kendall Joseph with the ball now marked forward to the 37-yard line of Alabama. Yeah, it looked like the Tigers had a shot at him. Yep. Right there at the line of scrimmage. He Didn't was able to kind of duck under and fall forward. Pick the first down out. First down and 10 for Alabama at their own 37. Tunga Baloa sits up in shotgun. Two wide outs to his right, one to his left. The back off to his right-hand side. Tunga Baloa will take the snap. And we'll hand it up. Jacobs up the middle, crosses the 40, and again stays on his feet as he bangs his way out of the 45-yard line. A pickup of eight, and second down and two. I hate to say it, but they are running right where Dexter, I mean, uh, Dexter Lawrence yep. would be. The Tigers this year only allowed 1.7 yards per rush when Dexter Lawrence was on the field, but 3.4 when he was not. The second down and short, second down and two for Alabama from their own 45-yard line. 8.55 and counting, 21-16, Clemson leading. Tungabaloa, wide outs to either side. And they'll turn and hand it off, stay with the running game. Jacobs goes right side, crosses the 50, got to the 45 and kind of made a cut inside and slipped and fell down to the Clemson 44-yard line. Kayvon Wallace was there closest to cover him up. But another first down for Alabama, and they drive the football. Now the Clemson 44-yard line, Niles Pickney will check out at defensive tackle, and back in comes Albert Huggins. Yeah, Alabama did a good job of kind of crushing everybody inside, and we, got, we missed the tackle outside. And Harris is giving that first down. First down and 10 at the Clemson 44. They scrimmage off of the right hash. Three wide receivers to the left and one to the right. Tungabaloa wants to throw. Looks downfield, goes down the middle, throws, and he overthrows it. Picked off by Mullen at the 10. He'll return it right side, across to the 15, 20, 25, 30. 
at the 40, the 45, and steps out of bounds close to midfield. The second pickoff of Tungabaloa, or from Tungabaloa, as they went deep, and he overthrew his wide receiver by a ton. And Mullen, the easy pick, looking for Jerry Judy. And the pick and the return, and Clemson's in great field position. He threw into triple coverage, John. Yep. I don't yep. know what he was thinking. Well, the Tigers did a good job putting pressure on him. He felt the pressure right at the middle. You had, well, to me, like you had Joseph or Lamar right in his lap. Wasn't quite there, but he threw, understanding he's got a guy going vertical. He thinks the Tigers are playing man. They're not. They had zone, but bringing pressure, completely fooled Tua. The return of 46. They actually marked the ball out at the Clemson, at the Clemson 40, or excuse me, at the Alabama 48-yard line. Dabo likes to go long on quick change of possessions. He got Ross out to the right side. Excuse me, I said 48. It's at the Alabama 47. Clemson moving it from left to right. Lawrence will go shotgun. Etienne the running back, and they'll hand it to Etienne. Etienne will try to just run it up the gut, and he'll cross the Alabama 45, work his way forward to the 44. Quinnen Williams, the nose guard. Was there on the stop. And that's a pickup of, of three on the play, second down and seven. But at least get positive yardage on first down. We've had too many second down and tens. Yeah, great job there. I like the call. It gives kind of the staff also what are they going to line up on that change of possession? What kind of coverage are they going to run at? What kind of front are they going to run? Second down and seven for Clemson at the Alabama 44 ball right in the middle of the field. Lawrence wants to throw. Looks, throws underneath, and has it complete. To Hunter Renfro, his first catch in this ball game. That's 43 games in a row as Patrick Sertain was there on the coverage, but he grabbed it at the Alabama 39, so third and short as Renfro had to go down and dig that ball out. But the ball will be just shy of the Alabama 39-yard line, so Clemson needs to get to the Alabama 37 for a first down, and Clemson 2 of 4 in third down conversions. Each in the running back off to the right-hand side of Lawrence as Clemson will scrimmage off the left hash. Wide side of the field right. Lawrence looks left side, throws, and has a complete Renfro. It's third and Renfro and a first down across the Alabama 35 to the 34-yard line. So back-to-back receptions by number 13. Yeah, that's almost impossible to cover, especially band covers. Renfro fakes the slant, comes inside, and puts a foot in the ground and digs to the outside, knowing he's only got to pick up two yards. Easy pitch and catch for the Tigers. 64 career receptions on third down for Renfro. That's amazing. First down and 10 from the Alabama 34 off the left hash. Lawrence wants to throw one more time. Throws across the middle, and it'll be incomplete. They were looking for Ross. And we're able to knock it away as Sertain. So John Simpson lost his helmet. We'll have to come out of the ball game for one play. We'll have to sub in at that guard spot. They're definitely letting those DBs and receivers play because he was, Sertain was all over, uh, all over Ross right there before the ball got there. We watching the replay, and it was obvious. Bockhorst will come in the ball game at that left guard spot, and Feaster comes in the ball game at running back. He'll be behind Lawrence and to his right hand side. Now we move over to the left hand side. That ball in that left hash. Lawrence wants to throw, looking left side, throws, the ball's batted up in the air. Feaster catches it, though, at the Alabama 35 and is able to turn it upfield for positive yardage to the Alabama 31. Jennings, who knocked down the very first pass of the game, remember, got his hands on that one, knocked it up in the air, but Feaster came down with it and turned it into positive yardage. Third and seven for Clemson from the Alabama 31, and Clemson three of five in third down conversions. Ball on the left hash. Feaster in the ball game and running back to the left-hand side of Lawrence. Three wide receivers to the right, and Ross alone wide out left. Lawrence takes a snap, wants to throw. Has time, looks, throws across the middle, and it's open. That's Rogers across the 15 at the 10. Inside the 10 goes Amari left side, and he'll be finally tackled just around the five-yard line of Alabama. Smith was there on the coverage, but a great throw by Lawrence. And a great job. One of the things I wanted to see, and I, we talked about it, his pocket presence. I saw him step up into the offensive line, did a great job clearing out. Amari comes across, Trevor steps into the pocket, throws a strike, and he continues continues to impress Don, 18-year-old true freshman. 26 first, yards on the play. First and goal at the Alabama 5. Off of the left hash, ETN the running back right behind Lawrence. They'll hand it to ETN, and he'll try to take it up the middle. He'll find maybe a yard. 
Maybe not even that. Looks like they're just going to mark him down maybe at the line of scrimmage. See where officially they mark the ball. They're going to the, the end of the field that is furthest from us as we're back in the, the other end zone. Raekwon Davis was there on the stop along with Deontay Thompson. But no gain in the play, and it's second and goal from just inside the five. Etienne still a running back to the left-hand side of Lawrence. Rodgers comes in motion from the right side. Now goes back outside to the right. Lawrence going to do a little shuttle pass inside the Etienne, and he's in. Touchdown. Etienne's second reception for a touchdown this season. His third touchdown in this game, and Clemson extends the lead to 27-16. And his 26th touchdown of the year ties James Connors' single-season ACC record. And, guys, that was the exact play that Alabama tried to run on third and six down here at the other red zone, the shuttle pass. The quarterback sprints out. You have your running back running at the line of scrimmage. You hope the defense comes up field and leaves your, your running back open. That's exactly what happened. They piled in on Trevor. He just flicked it to him underneath, and, Trev, I mean, and, and Travion walked in untouched. Here's Hugo for the point after. Out of the hole is Sweeney, and the kick is up. And it is good. So Clemson puts together a scoring drive after the interception. Eight plays, 47 yards, 327 off the clock. As South Carolina Beef Council brings us our scoring drives. And remember, Tiger fans, you can score big this season by enjoying delicious and healthy beef at your next tailgate. To break we go with 438 left here, second quarter. Clemson leads it by 12, 28-16. And this is Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. 4.38 to go here, first half, and Clemson extends the lead now with that touchdown pass to ETN. 28-16 in favor of our Clemson Tigers. Hey, fans, at Marathon, they serve a lot more than customers. They serve communities. Marathon fueling the American spirit. And uh, Travis ETN has already tied the Clemson record for touchdowns in a bowl game, which was previously held by Rodney. Hunter Renfro. No. No, two. he had two. He had, he had two. Uh, the fellow named Tracy Johnson had Tracy three against Penn Johnson. State. Johnson. When uh, there was a quarterback who was doing a great job running the show and giving it to defeating uh, Penn State, got 499 yards total offense in that game against Penn State. I pleaded with the official score after that game to find us one more yard <laughs> so we could get 500, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Won that game 35 to 10, which was Joe Paterno's worst margin of defeat in a bowl game in his career. Came out throwing the ball on the first play from yes, scrimmage to Keith Jennings and they never, never and we, looked back. And we had wide splits in the offensive line. Yep. Wider than we had used all year. And they said Coach Ford wasn't progressing. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Jacobs, Brian Robinson will go back deep to receive the kickoff here from BT Potter. Everything's just been a, a touchback so far off that right foot of, of Potter and he hits a high kick. End over end kick. Jacobs will just let it sail over his head. It'll hit. Bound out of the end zone. Another touchback. Ball will come out to the 25-yard line. First down and 10 for Alabama with 4.38 left here in this second quarter. So, again, I go back to that first drive. What do you do if you're saving? I guarantee you he gets on that. He clicks that button and says, I don't want to play. I don't want a run pass option. I want to run. We're running the ball on this team. We're picking up 8, 10 yards of play running it. You don't don't give me that that run pass where he has to has the option to throw it. Let's stay with the run. Uh, we need to take a timeout break because the uh, television folks have taken it here. We'll take it with them. With 4:38 to go here, first half, 28-16, Clemson by 12 over Alabama in the national championship game. And this is solid orange Clemson football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Grandma? Sweetie, you know my neighbor who has a great job but no boyfriend? Oh, you know what that is. Well, there's a dude ranch in front of her house. Cows and horses in a gated community? She says her BFF rented it for a girl's weekend. Isn't that precious? What kind of job does her best friend have? Your life could be exciting enough. Oh, I wish you were here. Oh, these cowboys look very clean cut. If not, play Powerball. Visit your local lottery retailer for odds and game information. Any day is a great day for Clemson's best gourmet ice cream. Made with milk, fruits, and nuts fresh off the farm. It's nostalgic ice cream, like Grandma made when every kid took a turn at the churn. Try some today in four southern flavors. Peaches and cream, strawberry shortcake, homemade vanilla, and caramel butter pecan. Sold at Ingalls Markets and other fine retailers. To find one near you, visit Clemson'sBest.com. Real milk. 
real fruit, real good. Clemson's best, gourmet ice cream, the favorite ice cream of the Clemson Tigers. Do you ever wonder how we're streaming millions of movies on demand or doing our banking from the beach? And how are we watching a live mission from Mars? Smart business minds dreamed these ideas, and Amazon Web Services is how they built them. With the broadest functionality and the most experience, the leading enterprises trust the AWS cloud to build the next big idea. Are you ready to build it? Learn more at awsishow.com. to go here in this second quarter of play. Clemson leading at 28-16 here in the national championship game over Alabama. Hey, fans, you can join first-year women's head basketball coach Amanda Butler and your Clemson women's basketball team. They'll take on Georgia Tech on Thursday, January the 17th, 7 p.m. in Little John Coliseum. Tickets for the game can be purchased by visiting clemsontigers.com slash tickets or by calling 1-800-CLEMSON. So first down and 10 for Alabama. At their own 25-yard line. They move it from right to left. They put the ball in that left hash. So the wide side of the field will be right. Najee Harris in the ball game at running back. Here with Tua Tungvaloa, who's thrown two picks in this first half of play. One of them returned for six. And then one returned all the way to the Alabama 47-yard line. Tungvaloa in shotgun. We'll take Harris and move him over to his right-hand side. Two wideouts will go right. They'll fake the handoff, look right side, throw, and have it complete at the 30. And wrestled down there will be Jerry Judy by A.J. Terrell, who had the pick six to get the scoring started in this game. Yeah, good open field tackle again, and there it is, a run-pass option. But to pulls it, they only pick up five yards versus seven and eight. They've been getting on the just a dedicated give yep. to the running back. Second down and five for Alabama from their own 30. Ball resting on the right hash. Wide side of the field left. Tungvaloa takes a shotgun snap. Will turn. Hand it off Najee Harris. And Harris will come left side across the 35. And find good running room across the 40 out of the 41-yard line. Isaiah Simmons, the strong side linebacker, along with the middle linebacker, Trey Lamar, combining on the stop. But not before it's a, a good pickup of 11 on the play and a first down. You know, Austin Bryant got kind of washed inside there. He's got to stay. He's got to hold that contain. Force Harris inside. Ball now resting on that left hash. And again, they'll hand it off. Najee Harris trying to find running room right side. And no, Isaiah Simmons will throw him for a tackle for a loss behind the Alabama 40 as he wraps him up around the 38, maybe the 37-yard line. They will officially mark it back to the 37 and a half. Actually, the nose of football will, looks like, maybe touch the 38. Christian Wilkins won't get credit for a tackle on that play, but he his uh, pursuit on, along the line of scrimmage forced the running back backwards and allowed Simmons to make that tackle. Second yep. tackle for a loss for Clemson defensively in this first half. It's a loss of threes. So second down and 13 for Alabama from their own 38. Tungvaloa takes a snap, and again will give it to Najee Harris. Tries to get outside, crosses the 40. He came to the left side, gets to the numbers, and will turn it upfield to the 45-yard line. So he'll pick up seven on the play and bring up third down and long. Albert Huggins along with Nolan Turner in the ball game, combining on the stop. So third down and six for Alabama. And they're two of five in third down conversions so far in this ball game. They'll operate off of the left hash. Wide side of the field will be to the right. Two wide outs to go that way, and one will come left. That's Bugs. Tungvaloa now will bring Bugs in motion. Stop him. In. And now Tungvaloa back to pass. Here comes a blitz, and Trayvon Mullen hits him, knocks the ball loose. Recovered by Alabama. But Mullen coming on the corner blitz just crushed Tungvaloa. Back at the, the ball recovered back at the 34-yard line. So Clemson gets a defensive stop. Boy, what a great tackle also by Mullen. He went low below the waist of Tunga Baloa and just, just knocked him down. Oh, and such a close play. Christian Wilkins almost Christian, didn't recover it. Right, almost makes that play, but what a great call. Weak side corner blitz, that's what we call it. That's one of the things quarterbacks hate. It is so difficult to read because especially when you're in a tight formation, you can't tell because the corner only doesn't have very far to go. Yeah, I think Clemson, who called timeout? Was that Clemson? Somebody called timeout. Clemson calls timeout, stops the clock with 2.10 left. And so we'll take the break here with them. 
Clemson leading at 28-16, and Alabama about to punt the football away on fourth and 17. This is Side of Orange Clemson football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Fourth down and 17 upcoming here for Alabama with 2.10 left here in this second quarter of play. Clemson up a dozen, 28-16, and about to see if we can put together a two-minute drive to end this first half. Yeah, the Tigers called timeout. Great job there. As I said, weak side blitz. Got to 2-2, two two, actually fumbled. We were really close to jumping on that ball, but this is the first punt we've seen in Alabama tonight. The Tiger defense doing exactly what we needed after putting together the offense, putting together two drives to take this 12-point lead. And, Tim, can we talk a little bit about second quarter or the the way that the adjustments is made by both our co-offense coordinators, Tony Elliott and Jeff Scott, and, and Tim, second quarter now, Clemson's been great against the opposition. Yeah, 211 to 38 going into this uh to this game, just like Alabama dominated the first quarter on its opponents this year, yeah, Clemson 14, dominated the uh, second quarter. 14-3 in this second quarter here in the national championship game. So they've out- outscored opponents but so far by 184 points in the second quarter of play. And I kind of like what we're seeing, a little safe defense. Again, don't let stupid plays hurt you. Right. you know, don't let them beat you on the field. Let them beat you offense, defense. Don't Special teams, neither one of the teams are, are spectacular. So don't let it cost you. Looks like the Tigers are going to, and again, we, we play our starters on special teams anyway, but this will be the first punt. We've not seen any punt. We'll see what happens, but you yeah, got Mike, Amari back on the 25. Mike Bernier on to a punt it away for Alabama, stands back around his own 21, gets it, and hits a high, good kick. Rogers drifting over to his left will call it for a fair catch and make it. And at about the 20, where are they going to mark it, 21 or 22? 21-yard line. And Don, I've, Don and Tim, I've asked you all this every week. It seems like, are they going to give Trevor the, the, <laughs> the green know, let, light? The green light, let him run. Uh, the answer is yes. Yes. The answer is definite yes. They've yet to pull him back. He runs the offense the way he runs the offense, and they've got plenty of confidence in him. So first down and 10 for Clemson from their own 21. They move it from left to right, put the ball in the left hash. So wide side of the field will be to the right. ETN, the running back, will be off the left-hand side of Lawrence. Two wide outs to go to the short side to the left and two will come to the right. Higgins and Renfro to the left. Thompson and Rogers to the right. Lawrence takes a look at a four-man defensive front here for Alabama. Takes a shotgun snap, back to pass. Going to throw, look long and wants Thompson and gets him on the sideline right side at the Clemson 40. The catch and the step out of bounds. The second catch by Travion here in this ball game. And it's a good pickup of 19. And there it is again. They lined up two deep safeties. They brought the they brought the outside backer, so the safety had to come over the top. Man coverage. Trevor recognizes that. There's no way that safety can get over on that uh, corner route before we can get the ball there. First down, great play. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap, looking left side. Going to throw and wants Rodgers and overthrows him there. Coverage on the play by Sertain. So that will stop the clock with a minute 53 left here in this first half. Bring up second down and 10 for Clemson from their own 40-yard line. See, and I like that throw there. He, I, I'm not sure. They might have fooled him there. Right. And guess what he did? He goes, I'm not going to take a sack. I can't take a sack, and I'm not throwing interceptions. Get rid of it. I'm going I'm to be a mature quarterback, and I'm going to throw it away to live another day. Clemson scrimmages off of the right hash. Wide side of the field left. ETN the running back off the left-hand side of Lawrence. Now Lawrence will look over to the Clemson sideline. Ten on the play clock. Lawrence will come up, say something to his offensive line. Play clock at five. Lawrence will set back up in shotgun. Two wide outs either side. Lawrence asks for the snap. Nope. Now has to call timeout. And that's a heady move right there by the freshman realizing, hey, shot the game clock was, play clock was down and so let's call timeout. It's the last timeout available for Clemson in the half, but you got a minute 53 and you're up 12. Let's make a smart decision. Here. Make a smart decision, and I really like that. All right, so what happened there was the Tiger staff saw, Trevor saw one thing, the Tiger staff saw another. They relayed it from Amari to Trevor, and Trevor's like, okay, we're going to change the play. They changed the play. Trevor was up there making his adjustments. He didn't like what he saw. He didn't like what the play was called. He was checking again at the line. I just saw him come off to the sideline. He's like, that was two. That wasn't three. That was two. Right. So, again, heads up, 18-year-old freshman quarterback has yet to be fooled and has yet to make a mistake. And if he continues to recognize what Alabama's doing and the offensive line gives them the time that they've given them already, 
he's going to continue to be successful. Bring Adam Choice in at running back. I like this. I bet he's in there for blocking He's purposes. a better blocker yep. up front, yeah. Two wide outs will go to the left, and two will go to the right. Ball resting on that right hash. A wide side of the field is left. Lawrence will come up, say something to his offensive line. Here on second down and 10 at the 40. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap, back to throw. Going to throw, had to complete across the 50 to the right sideline. That's what the catch was lost, and a flag comes for a late hit. Yes, sir. That'll be another 15 added to that. They stepped out of bounds at the Alabama 48. So they call the late hit here. It should take it all the way down to the Alabama 33 against Xavier McKinney, the strong safety. Yeah, it wasn't so a, a pickup of 12 and a first down. Number 15. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first it down. wasn't a vicious hit, but you can see Travion already out of bounds, and then he put a little hat on him to pump him out. That's yeah, the first catch. Remember when Dabo was, was lost? I think it was first catch for yeah. Remember he was yelling at the side. Yes, yeah. the officials in the first half. <laughs> All right, Mike, Mike Shashevsky, the best oh, well, ever. I, you I get goes, on him, and you get on him hard goes, early on. It goes farther back than that. Al McGuire was famous doing that in basketball at Marquette. So it ends, ends up being a 27-yard pickup all the way to the Alabama 33. Ball still on that right hash. And Lawrence to take the shotgun free snap, play. free play. Throwing it long, looking for Renfro, and it'll be thrown behind him at the 15-yard line, left side on the numbers. But offside will go here against Alabama as the left end jump. And Trevor realizing I had a free play, offside. pressure was coming. Let's just throw it, get rid of it, see what happens. All right, and what did I tell you what Alabama doesn't like to do? They were bringing those play side, right. play side corner blitz or outside backer blitz. They were bringing pressure. They wanted to get there in a hurry. Trevor recognized that. Again, we caught them in the neutral zone, but Alabama does not want to bring pressure like that. They don't, then they have to play one high safety. They're starting to panic. First and five at the Alabama 28 with a minute 44 left here in this first half, and Clemson up 12, 28-16. Lawrence back to throw. Looks downfield, throws across the middle, and has a complete to Ross inside the 20 to about the 15-yard line. That was a just a laser thrown to Justin Ross. And again, recognizing what he's got, what he sees, that was athlete on athlete. Ross makes the wins the play. Great awareness there by Trevor. They spotted at the Alabama 16. Clemson back in the red zone. Ball right in the middle of the field. Two wide receivers left. Two stack receivers to the right. Higgins and Ross. Lawrence will hand it off to Choice. And Choice trying to take it left side. will be thrown for a loss. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage back at about the 18-yard line. A loss of two as Williams is able to split the gap and get through and make the tackle. So it'll be a loss of two in second down and 12. Clock moving. 107 and counting here in this first half and second down and long, second and 12. From the Alabama 18, Lawrence will go shotgun that ball on the left hash. Wide side of the field right. Lawrence wants to throw. Going to throw looking for a back shoulder and throws it behind T. Higgins who was not expecting the back shoulder throw. So that incomplete pass will stop the clock with 53 seconds left in the first half as Sertain was there on the coverage. So you got third and 12 with 53 seconds left from the Alabama 18. And Clemson up by 12 at 28-16. Yeah, so what you want to do here, again, you want your best matchup. you got T. Higgins up top. you got Renfro with a little corner route. Looks really good if they're trying to play safety over the top of him. But understand the situation. Understand the down and distance and the time. Middle of the field right now, but in this defensive set, it's going to be open. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap. Here comes pressure. They have to get rid of it. And, oh, and try to throw it to the flat left side and just overthrows the back. Boy, if he hits him there, I'm not so sure that, that Choice doesn't make that grab and maybe rumble into the end zone. But he was getting pressure that time from Jennings. Yeah, good job there. Alabama brought plenty of pressure. Trevor, as you said, if Trevor could have just lost that, gave it a little bit of air. Choice could have taken that ball into the run all the way to the end zone because they were man coverage, and the guy covering Choice was putting pressure on, on uh, Trevor. Ball will be spotted on the left hash just inside the Alabama 27-yard line. Hugel on for the field goal here. Snap, hold, and the kick is on its way, and the kick is true. Hugel able to hit the field goal with 45 seconds left here in this first half of play, and Clemson's got 31 on the board here in this first half, 31-16 over Alabama. Most points Clemson has ever scored in the first half of a bowl game. Who'd have thought it would be against Alabama and Nick Saban? <laughs> As our scoring drive brought to us by our good friends 
at the South Carolina Beef Council. Eight plays, 61 yards, only a minute 19 off of the clock. Remember, Tiger fans, that you can score big this season by enjoying delicious and healthy beef at your next tailgate. And our thanks to our good friends at the South Carolina Beef Council for being a proud sponsor of Clemson football. A really good drive there again by the defense giving the offense an opportunity. Trevor taking the taking boys all the way down, getting them in the red zone. Just a couple of little miscommunication there. I think on that second down is the only play I didn't like with Trevor thinking T was going to back shoulder and T thought he was going kept going vertical. But besides that, it was almost flawless and a really, really good job. I like what our offensive line is doing to this defensive front, forcing Alabama to bring pressure if they want to get to Trevor. So Jacobs, the lone man back here on the kickoff from Potter. Puts the right foot into it, and Jacobs will just let it sail over his head. It'll hit in the back of the end zone. Another touchback, and the ball will come out to the 25-yard line. BT has just been an absolute weapon here in his freshman campaign. Well, based on what happened in this, the first national uh, championship Kenyon meeting Drake. between these two teams, you have to wonder if uh, Potter was doing the kickoffs if we might have won that game. Yeah, and, and like I asked about Trevor early on, I guarantee you Coach Saban's given Tua the green light to, to run no this offense. Yeah, they, they got, got three, three timeouts. timeouts in 45 seconds. First down and 10 for Alabama from their 25. They move from right to left and work off the left hash. Damian Harris, the running back. Tua wants to throw, though. Looks, throws, and has it off of the hands of Harris at the 32. That ball was up in the air and almost got picked. Wow. Almost wow. got picked. That would have been a game changer there. But, yeah, as you said, a, Looked to me like Tua getting a little bit of pressure, a little happy feet. He what there weren't that much in his lap, but yep. he was kind of bailing out to his left side, which he likes to do. He's left-handed, and that ball was it was tipped up and it hung for a while. Incomplete pass will stop the clock with 41 seconds left here, first half, second and ten. I guess look like they're gonna go with some pressure. Yeah, bring some blitzing pressure here. Let's see. They got men up in the gaps on both sides of Christian Wilkins. Tungabaloa takes a shotgun snap. Clemson drops out of it. Tungabaloa is going to run it for the first time tonight. Crosses the, gets to the 30 and is going to be paid the price there by Muse and Wilkins as they hit him at about the 31-yard line. All right, this tells me something here. Yeah, Alabama guess not calling timeout. Alabama does not call a timeout. No, 25 that, seconds left. And let's see, they even run another play. That tells me a lot. Yeah, Alabama two of six. Wow, he's third down. I think he's. I think he's going to go to the locker room. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, he's going to go to the locker room. Is Nick Saban down 31-16. With three timeouts. He had three timeouts. The applause you hear is from my color man, Rodney Williams. Yes, it is. I am sorry. That was right there. Go ahead and throw the white flag. Where is it? Where's that white flag? 17-3 score in the second half. All right. In the second quarter. Second quarter. Yeah. The least important thing is a score at halftime, but Clemson does lead it by 15 here at half, 31-16. Now stay with us as we've got the Solid Orange halftime report coming up. William Quackenbush will have that back at network headquarters, and we'll come back. This is Solid Orange Clemson football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Back here in Levi Stadium, Santa Clara, California, as we're back ready to start the second half of the national championship game here between our Clemson Tigers and Alabama. Clemson with a 31-16 lead here at halftime. Quick look at the stats will show you that Alabama had 266 yards of offense in that first half on 40 plays. Clemson 224 in offense on 31 plays. 197 of that through the air as Lawrence was 12 of 21 for 197. A touchdown pass, and that was a little shuttle pass to ETM. The long was 62, and that was on a long strike that helped second up Clemson's second touchdown of the game. ETN, seven carries for only 24 yards, but with two rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown. Higgins with a couple of catches for 76. Feaster, a couple of catches for 29. Travian Thompson, two catches for 27. Ross, a couple of catches for 24 in the, this ball game. Tungvaloa throwing the football, 13 of 17 for 158, two touchdowns, but two huge interceptions, including a pick six, and then one that was picked off at the uh, 10-yard line and returned all the way to the Alabama 47 that set up a touchdown drive for Clemson. So, guys, as we get set for this 
second half of action, Rodney. Alabama's going to get the ball first here to start this thing. And you, you almost really feel like, Rodney, that there's going to be a lot of pressure on Alabama offensively to take this football and go drive for points. Yeah, I think it is. I, you know, I mean, we, we, we kind of contemplated uh, during halftime, do you see, see Jalen Hurts come in there? Because they were pretty successful running the ball. They, you know, again, Nick likes to run the ball. He ran for 108 yards, which, which isn't great, but it, it was pretty consistent. But you've got Tua that is going to run their, their offense this season. It's built on the run-pass option and his ability to read that. You go back to your old-style Alabama offense and run, and run, try to establish a running game, and you put uh, Hurts, which we know is a better runner than Tua, in there, or do you stay with what you're doing? But you're down 15 points, and this is the first time you're down going into the second half. You've had, and, and we talked about this. What I think this uh, this Alabama concern for Coach Saban is stopping our offense. Not not their offense scoring, but how are we going to stop Trevor? We talked about they don't like bringing pressure. They get four guys to bring pressure 99% of the time. Every game so far this year, if you make them, force them to bring pressure to put to get Trevor on his back or get his on his back foot, now you're playing man, you're one high safety. What happens now? That's not what they want to do. Now it's a man on man, and that's what the Tigers are trying to get them to do. So it's going to be interesting. I'm more interested in the defensive halftime adjustments Alabama did and who they bring out at quarterback or, or uh, how their offense does. Alabama very late in coming out of the locker room. Something tells me that was a little Billy Graham fire and brimstone at halftime. But you're right. This first drive means a great deal because Alabama had the time of possession. They're leading, they're leading the time of possession. What is it? 19-26 uh, to 10-34 yeah. so almost double the time of possession how yeah. does that wear on Clemson how does that wear it clemson's yeah. deep enough if t- the tigers can flip that script and really establish of course their offense is made made out of big plays and so we don't have many of those 10 and 12 play drives what, Tim. yeah what's really uh scary about that is that alabama i mean clemson had the ball first and they still had a 40 to 31 advantage of plays you know there used to be a clemson football coach who said that the most important time of the game were the first five minutes of the third quarter. So His here's, name was Danny Ford. Here's Potter to put the right foot into it. He kicks it all the way out of the end zone, well over the head of Josh Jacobs. The ball will come out at the 25-yard line, and Alabama will have it there to start this second half. First down and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And Damian Harris will open up at running back. Clinkabaloa still in there at quarterback. Alabama will drive it left to right. They'll put the ball in the right hash, wide side of the field left with three wide outs there, and Harris, the running back, off the right-hand side of Tungavaloa. Four-man front here for Clemson. Now showing blitz. Tungavaloa asks for the snap, gets it handed off Harris, and Harris makes a man miss, goes left side across the 35, and all the way out to the 40-yard line. So a pickup quickly of 15 there by Harris, and Nolan Turner has to come up from the strong safety spot and make the tackle. Yeah, that's Alabama's going to run the football. That's Clemson. right. And the Tigers bringing pressure, and they did. That was a run blitz. Trey Lamar, get, gets, they picked Trey up, and so basically there's no second level to stop that right. run. First down and 10, Alabama at their own 40. Ball closer to the left hash, then to the right. Harris off the right-hand side of Tunkabaloa as he takes a shotgun snap, gives it to Harris. Gets outside of the corner, going left side, across to the 45, into the Alabama sideline, will cross the 50, and will get knocked out of bounds in Clemson territory at the Clemson 49-yard line. So there's 11 more and another first down. And again, Turner had to give her there and knock him out. They sealed the edge, yep. and Harris found it. And that's exactly what we kind of figured. That was not – either one of those plays are run-pass options. Those are gives. Those yep. are runs. That's old Alabama. First down and 10 Alabama, the Clemson 49. Harris still in the running – the running back off the left-hand side, and they go off play action. They look left side, throw, and have it complete. And that'll be for another first down. And a late flag comes down. I think a player down lineman downfield. Correct, Don. Yeah, I think that that was, I think it was Jonah Williams, the left tackle that was way downfield. Going to bring this play back, which would have been a first down at the Clemson 37-yard line. And it's tough when you got a big man like Jonah Williams out the there in space. Receiver downfield, offense number 73, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. 6'5", 300 plus yeah, pounds. Tough to miss him. Yeah, and he was standing in space in <laughs> air. 
So the ball will come back, back into Alabama territory. And so put the ball at the Alabama 46. Fifth penalty against Alabama for 45 yards in this game. Tonight. First down and 15. Tugger Malola will come up, say something to his offensive line, and sit back up and shotgun as he scrimmages off of the left hash. Now we'll take Damian Harris and move him right behind him. Pistol look. Fake it to Harris. Going to roll. Looking to throw. Goes and dumps it off. Irv Smith, the tight end. Crosses the 50. Makes a man miss at the 45. And is all the way down to the Clemson 39-yard line. That'll be very close to the first down. Niles Pickney, the inside defensive tackle, had to come all the way downfield and make the tackle on the tight end. Irv Smith, who's been effective. The BS his third catch in this game. Yeah, good job there. Play action. You establish the run. Play action works. Second and one. Tunga Valoa wants to throw. Has time. Here comes pressure now. Oh, just throw and get rid of it. Nobody was there. He wasn't outside the box. He got it beyond the line of scrimmage, but nobody was within 10 yards of that football as he just threw it right side as pressure was getting to him. Christian Wilkins, Cleveland Furl. And here's Alabama. Sec- third down and short. Third and less than a yard. The ball rests just inside the Clemson 40. Yeah, great job there by the secondary of the Tigers and the front four for the, the defensive front putting pressure without bringing pressure to Tua. The secondary doing a good job playing a little man free. And here they go, uh, Wildcat again. They put Josh Jacobs to take the direct snap. Wideouts will go to either side. Snap it to Jacobs. He looks to try to run it going left side. It looks like he'll have the first down as he got the... No, I don't That's know. Sure. He may not have wow, got it. He, sure. he didn't touch the 39-yard line. It all depends upon the spot here. And that was a good spot, I thought. And they're going to call for a measurement here. The tackle on the play was made by J.D. Davis, one of the bailiffs coming up. One of the sons of the judge. This ball is spotted just shy of the 39-yard line. I think it should be enough for the first down. But they're not going to say no. The ball's shy of the 39, so they're going to say no. Or they're going to bring, now they're going to bring out the chains. Right. Now here come the chains. Let's see what happens when they stretch the chains. But, but, We're at an odd angle. But already tonight, Alabama is going to be short by an inch. One inch. Yeah, just barely. But, but we've already seen Alabama go, go that wildcat twice. twice and get it on fourth and short. Yep. And, and they down. Did it. They did it backed up. And as we talked about how valuable and how important this first drive is, to get in points, you know Saban's going to go for it. Oh, no doubt. And the Tigers, third time in the game, he'll do and this. The Tigers have got to play assignment, Don. They can't, they can't sell out to try to stop the run. We saw that on the goal line, and you had a wide open to it, just flip it to a, a tight end crossing. So, play assignment football. And again, they'll go Wildcat with Jacobs to take the direct snap. He's got Smith off to his right hand side. They line the clock, fourth and inches for Alabama. Snap to Jacobson. He picks and chooses his way. Gets hit. Is he going to get there? I think he's going to get. Second effort. Yeah, second effort got him there. He got across the 39. He was hit shy, but then second effort kept him up and kept him leaning forward and picks up the first down. So Alabama, three of three on fourth downs in this ball game. They came in just four of nine on fourth downs this season. Skowski was there and be, I think, credited with a stop for Clemson. First down and 10, Alabama at the Clemson 38, opening drive in the second half. Clemson leading at 31-16, clock moving at the 12-35 mark. Tungavaloa looking to take the shotgun snap, does so. Back to throw, here comes some pressure. He'll step up in the pocket, let it fly, and it's incomplete at the 20-yard line as he threw it behind his intended receiver. Cleland Furl was coming and putting pressure. He was looking for Devontae Smith and missed him at the 20. Yeah, good job of Cle- making two a step up. And when he did, he kind of caught him off off stride there. Two were trying to throw the ball behind his receiver because he knew he had Tigers had safety help coming over. But great job there making two a move his feet, reset his feet, and then throw it. Second down and 10 for Alabama at the Clemson 38 off of that left hash bunch set here for Alabama. They'll hand it off. Damian Harris comes right side, turns it up that right hash, and scrambles forward across the 30 to the 29-yard line where he's finally brought down by Isaiah Simmons, the strong side linebacker. So that'll bring up third down and short. Again. Yep, third and one for Alabama at the Clemson 29-yard line. They need the 28 for a first down. This is a full yard, maybe even a yard and a half. That ball... Looks to me like it's kind of resting really at the 29 and a half. 
Wildcat and again, again. they go Wildcat again. And Direct he, snap at the Jacobs. And again, you got to play assignment here. Yep. Don't don't sell out. Make sure he's running the ball. Jacobs takes a snap, turns it left side, looks to get to the corner, does so for the first down as he gets between the hash and numbers going left side and will get close to the Clemson 26. So a pickup of three and a first down. A.J. Terrell comes up and makes the stop. We had the pick six to start the scoring in this game. First down and ten for Alabama now at the Clemson 26-yard line. Opening drive of the second half, and Clemson leading at 31-16. Clock moving, 11-25 and counting. Tunga Baloa will go shotgun off of that left hash. Damian Harris, the running back to his right-hand side. Bunch set. Tunga Baloa back to pass. Looks left, throws it underneath, has it complete into the hands of Smith, and he is hit immediately at about the 20-yard line by Trayvon Mullen. But again, that'll be a, actually going to mark it gonna mark it down at the 22. Excuse me, I said 20. It's the 22-yard line. So a pickup of four on the play and second down and six. Again, the Tigers are getting getting a good push on the offensive line. Tunga Baloa takes the shotgun snap, wants to throw, throws across the middle, has it complete again to Smith. Smith will grab it, and then the ball comes loose, scramble for it, and Smith able to dive back on it, back at around the 22-yard line. Boy, that ball was loose for a while. Austin Bryant couldn't quite get there, and Smith able to dive back on it. You see, he was down before that ball came loose. No, the ball is loose as yeah. Terrell knocked it out. And then Smith able to get back to it and fall on it. So that brings up third down and seven. Balls at the Clemson 22-yard line. So actually go as a loss of a yard. And Alabama three of eight on third down conversions. Ball on that right hash. And are we going to get a timeout here, Cole? The ruling on the previous nope. play was the runner fumbled the ball before he was down. The play is under further review. So we go to review. And take a look at that. Hey, you know, when you go all out, drive an SUV that's all in, check out all the great offers on Ford's unstoppable SUV lineup like Escape, Explorer, Expedition, and the all-new EcoSport at buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of the Clemson Tigers. And we'll take the break with them, and off the break we will go as they review this play. Clemson leading at 31-16 with 10.08 to go here in the third quarter. And you're listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Mario Crawford. 10.08 to go here in the third quarter of play. The opening drive of this second half as Alabama got the took the ball over at the 25-yard line after the touchback and has driven it all the way to the Clemson 22. And they've taken... 4.52 off of this third quarter clock, so they continue to dominate the time of possession, but Clemson up 15-31-16. This will be the 12th play coming up of this drive here for Alabama. They reviewed the play, and they said indeed it was a fumble, and it was recovered by Alabama at the 22. And Mark Fields is in the game in place of Mullen. Mullen's yep. got cramps. And playing right cornerback. Third and six for Alabama. The Clemson 22, and they scrimmage off of the right hash. Wide side of the field left. Three wide outs will go that way. Tunga Valoa will go shotgun, and he'll have Damian Harris off to his right-hand side. Clemson will show a, actually a three-man front. And maybe show a little blitzing action here. Tunga Valoa asks for the shotgun snap, gets it. Back to throw. Looks across the middle, throws, and it's incomplete, and Fields knocked the ball away from Irv Smith. What a huge play. Came right across the front of Smith, got his left hand to it, and knocked it down. boy, Mark. Not a way to go, Mark. Mark was struggling coming into this goal practice. But that right there is a guy you, you recognize, Alabama recognized. You had Mark Fields, you had Mullen, one of the great cornerbacks. He's out. They went right at him, and Mark steps up and makes a career play. Now we can possibly hold Alabama to only three points this opening drive. So here is Bull of us on for what will be a 40-yard field goal off of the right hash. To do so out of the hold of Mac Jones. Snap, hold, and they're going to fake it. Jones going to run it. Right side again, hit and drop by Niles Pickney. They try to run the fake. 
and Pickney smelled it out and just stuffed it at the 22-yard line. Well, we talked about the kicking woes right there. You you knew the offense, you knew the defensive staff. They played safe. It was wasn't a rush trying to stop the, the or block the, the field goal. It was what we call safe, and that's a regular defense. Pinkney just beats his guy, stops. John, what did we talk about? Tim, what'd you say? Coach Ford first, said you used to first, say the first five minutes first of the third five quarter. Minutes. Well, that's the first five minutes of the first. They had quarter. the ball for 5:13, Rodney, and, and they got empty. zero points. Came up empty. Clemson leading at 31-16. Clemson will have their first possession of the second half. When we come back, this is Solid Orange Clemson football, the Clemson Tigers Network. to go here in this third quarter, and Clemson stops the fake field goal and will take over the football actually at the 24-yard line. And Tiger fans, Bilo has everything you need at the best prices to get you ready for all the games, from all things wings to the ultimate nachos, game time, guacamole, and don't forget those ice-cold beverages. Head to Bilo to get game day ready. Bilo, the official supermarket of the Clemson Tigers. So he had a big play on third down, turned in by Mark Fields as he comes across Herb Smith, gets the left hand to it, knocks it away, and then Niles Pickney smells out the fake as Mac Jones tries to run it, and Pickney just ate him up. Yeah, Don, good. if we go on to win this game, Mark Fields would have earned his entire four-year scholarship <laughs> with that one play. Well, great job by the Tiger defense of bending and not break. Five-and-a-half-minute drive there. And comes nothing. away empty-handed now let's see how the Tigers let's see what first of all let's see what remember we talked about what is Alabama's defense their right. halftime adjustment the Tiger offense didn't need an adjustment they just continue to play with their play and they're still too deep we'll see if they play man Clemson will move it from right to left they scrimmage off of the left hash Lawrence will go shotgun Alabama showing blitz and they come with it and Lawrence will have to keep it and he'll get eaten up for a loss as Jennings came in and hit him all right Dropped him for a loss, and that was coming off of that outside blitz. Outside blitz. They started it too deep, but they brought the, uh, uh, I think that's an outside backer off the field side and rolled to one deep. That was That's the adjustment. That's what we want them to do. Even though they did sack us, attack us for a loss, yep. we want to see them bringing pressure. Loss of two, second down and 12 for Clemson from their 22. Lawrence will take the shotgun snap, look, throw, have it complete to the 25 for a short pickup. As coming up with a grab was Amari, Amari Rogers. And Rogers actually be marked forward to the 26. Mac Wilson, the middle linebacker, hit him and brought him down. So third down and long. Third and eight here for Clemson at the four yard pickup. Clemson went four of seven on third downs in the first half. Ball close to that right hash. So wide side of the field, left. Three wide outs there and one to the right. Lawrence. Pass with a shotgun snap, gets it. Back to pass. Going to throw, have it complete at the 40 and turn it up field and hit it for the end zone. Will be, and it'll be a touchdown. Justin Ross as Alabama's Justin corner went down and it looked like he may have blew a knee out. Blew a knee or something and Ross got open and takes it to the house for six. Yeah, great job there. Alabama again brought pressure. Trevor was able to pick it up. Good Good job, ETN. For an injured player. Good job, ETN was able to push the, really the blitzer off, just deflected him enough. Trevor recognized the cornerback goes down. You know, we talk about a a point guard breaking somebody's ankles out there. That's exactly what he did. He put a little double move on him, cut into the slant. Trevor hits him, and it's off to the races, and nobody can catch him. 72 yards on the touchdown pass. Lawrence to Ross. So think about this, guys. 42, 52, excuse me, he's now 74. A 74-yard touchdown pass. But just think about what these two freshmen have done together in playoff games. What did we talk about last year? You know, we I kind of said three or four years ago the coaching staff knew we needed special teams, and they went after Potter, and they went after putting starters on there. Last year, what was our Achilles heel? We couldn't throw the ball vertical. We didn't have any big plays in our offense. It was more of a sustained drive, right? This year, Tim... Don, we're setting a record for over 40 yards, over 50 yards, yep. over 60 yards, right? And that's the difference in having a playmaker like Trevor Lawrence and athletes on the perimeter in five and eight. And that's the 12th play this season of over 60 yards for Clemson this season. We get a, a timeout for the injured 
Alabama player back at the Clemson 32-yard line. We'll yeah. take it with him. 8.26 to go third quarter, and Clemson now has extended the lead to 36 to 37-16. You're listening to Solid Orange Clemson football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Ask for the shotgun snap, gets it. back to pass. Going to throw, have it complete at the 40 and put it up field and hit it for the end zone. Will be, and it'll be a touchdown. Justin Ross. They looked so was much it, alike. They looked it, just alike. Wasn't my best. Well, you can't right tell between the, five and eight. And five and eight look And they're identical. both the same size, and That's it's just I mean. hard to tell. Yeah. And does, especially how high we are. I don't care. We're up 37 to 16. That's, yeah. that's all I care It doesn't matter who caught it <laughs> as long as it was an orange helmet crossing the line. Uh, uh, we should note that Justin Ross is on the sideline riding the bike. I hope yeah. he didn't pull a hamstring And they get Savian Smith was the player that was down, and they actually had to cart him off while we were in break. So the extra point will be coming here from Hugel and try to extend the lead now to 38-16 with 8.26 to go here in the third quarter. So Alabama drives it for better than five minutes, comes up empty, and Clemson responds in only a minute 21. Snap, hold, and the kick is up, and it hits the left upright no good. Oh, man. So Alabama has missed one in the first half. Clemson returns the favor here in the third quarter with a missed extra point. Hugel didn't miss an extra point the entire regular season. Yep. He actually had a streak of 72 in a row broken against Notre Dame. Missed one blocked. last week and then this week. Yeah. yeah. All right, scoring drive for Clemson. Three plays, 76 yards, a minute 21, the 74-yard touchdown pass. Lawrence to Ross. Our scoring roundup brought to us by South Carolina Beef Council. Remember, Tiger fans, you can score big this season by enjoying delicious and healthy beef at your next tailgate. And, and Don, remember, Tim, remember that Ross was only the second number one player in Alabama. Hit The to state of Alabama state. had to leave. It was right. J, uh, Jameis Winston and then Ross, and that was a big coup last year for us to get him out of the state of Alabama, and he's already paid dividends. So you know he's Jack. Oh, Come yeah. Come and play his home state. So we've got 8.26, and Clemson now with a 21-point lead at 37-16. to 16. And Potter about ready to kick it away. It's back deep once again to go Josh Jacobs. And he'll also Brian Robinson back. will stand around the five, but Jacobs in the end zone by about two yards. And here comes Potter. Puts the right foot into it. Kind of a line drive hooking kick. It'll be returned by Jacobs about a yard out. 10-15, gets to the 20-25, and stays on his feet all the way out close to the 30-yard line. So there's your first return up for either team in this ball game, and, and it comes all the way out to the 30, and Chad Smith able to make the special teams tackle. That's the 12th special teams tackle this season by Chad Smith. Yeah, and, that, and that's kind of the, the negative about kicking it in his zone every time is right. you kind of, but you still have to be focused on covering that that kickoff because we've seen what they did to us three years ago. You don't want to give them something silly and change the momentum. So you got Najee Harris and also Josh Jacobs, two running backs that will split either side of Tunga Baloa as he will wait a shotgun snap first down and 10 at his own 30 off of the right hash. And they'll hand it off, give it to Najee Harris. He'll go left side across the 35-40 and stay on his feet. That'll be a first down out to the 41-yard line where he's finally tackled by the free safety. Tanner Muse, but a pickup of 11. And a first down and 10 for Alabama. Well, they ran it to come out in the second half, and they continue to run the football. They have run the football very effectively here yeah, and tonight again, against Clemson. That is not a run-pass option. That is a give all the way, a little misdirection there, pulling guard, kind of old-school Alabama. Lincoln will operate off of the left hash. First down and 10 at his own 41. That's for a man to come in motion. That's Jacobs comes from left to right. Tunga Baloa one to throw across the middle, throws and has it complete in Clemson territory. And that's Judy across the 40. And Judy will be finally tackled at the 36-yard line by A.J. Terrell. Another big pickup. Yeah, again, pick up of what, 23? Play action there. Tiger out, the linebackers were able to have to step up, and it creates a little bit of space crossing. Tool was able to connect. First down and 10 at the 36. Actually, a pick up 25. 25. Yep. Dunga Baloa will hand it off. Najee Harris trying to find running room right side, and this time they close it down. 
Christian Wilkins and Tanner Muse will combine on the stop between the hash and numbers going right side. And that'll be no gain in the play in second down and 10. Yeah, that was one of the times. Good job, Austin Bryant, setting the edge here and forcing Harris inside where he had help. Mark Field still in the ball game at corner as Trayvon Mullen has not returned yet to this game. Josh Jacobs, a running back off the left-hand side of Tunga Baloa. He scrimmages off of that right hash. Back to throw goes the lefty. Looks downfield now. He's going to roll left side. Still looking throws, and it's going to be com- incomplete. No, he caught it. Did he catch? Oh, he did catch it. Yes, Albert Huggins was on the coverage of Jacobs trying to follow him downfield. Or was that Lamar? Excuse me. It was, it was Albert, wasn't it? That was, yeah. That no, was no. Trey Lamar. Sorry, Trey Lamar. Was it 57 or 6? 57. Excuse me. All right. And Jacobs caught it. But Jacobs catches it and takes it all the way down to the 20-yard line, first down and 10. And that's just a player making a play because Trey was right there. It was on him. Off the left hash, Tunga Valoa asks for the snap, gets it, throws, and has it complete to the 15. Little slant inside to Waddle. Jalen Waddle and Kevin Walt will make the immediate tackle of the 15, but that's a pickup of five. You were talking about that slant right. earlier on in this game, and there it is. Yeah, and, and when you've got to establish a running game, your linebackers have got to step up. So it's very imperative that your defensive backs take away, they start off inside leverage and take away the slant, force Alabama to beat you out on the corners. Actually, they mark it the 14th, second down and four. Off play action, Tunga Valoa looks over the middle, throws, and it's off the hands of, of Ruggs at the goal line, a little high, and went off of his right hand. Yeah, Tua was trying to fit that one in there in a tight window, and he really zipped it a little high. Alabama almost got fortunate catching the tip ball in the back of the end zone, but good coverage there by the Tigers. So third down and four with 5.54 to go here in the third. Clemson leaning at 37-16 to 16 and you wonder at the Clemson 14. This is probably a two-down situation again. Big timeout call by Clemson. So the Clemson sideline wants to talk it over here on third and four at the 5.54 mark of this third quarter. And there's only one official site for Clemson Athletics with schedules, roster, stats, news, exclusive photos, and videos, and that's ClemsonTigers.com. If you want to see what's happening with your favorite teams, you can find it all at ClemsonTigers.com. We'll get Reggie Merriweather into this as we go down to the sideline for a State Farm sideline reports. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. Talk to an agent today at 800 State Farm. All right, Reg, so we've seen Alabama come up empty uh, already in this third quarter, and here's a big play for Clemson defensively here on third and four. Yeah, and we talked about the, the, the third quarter, the first possession being the, 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 the being set the tone for the second half. Defense comes out, they actually get a stop, fake field goal, they stop that, and offense coming up with a big play. And I really want to, I really want to know with Alabama coming out of the locker room so late, everybody have a time to stretch, and that may have caused the injury. But again. Um, you no know, prayers to the young man that got carted off in Clemson. Trying to trying to get this stop right here in the red zone um, to come up with some points. That's a good point, Reg. I hadn't thought about that, but they were. I mean, they came out of that locker room with under like about 90 seconds yeah. to go. So there wasn't a whole lot that they could do really to to warm up. And I fully expect this to be a two down situation. I mean, we've seen the, the lack of lack of performance on the kicking game already at, on Alabama, and we know they've done they've run. The, what, they're three for three? three or four yeah, for three, four, for three, three for three and four downs. downs yeah. And they've run the uh, run that Wildcat with with uh, um, Jacobs. So I would expect the Tiger. But you have to play assignments. You can't assume he's going to run inside there. You, you know, again, look for two, a run pass option, try to hit the slant. Maybe they run the slant, look look out for the corner. All these things Coach Venables is telling all, you know, his, their guys, they've looked at the film. They know the tendencies. I would think Alabama will try to run this, though. I'd be very surprised if it is a run-pass option and not just a give so that Coach Saban could set it up for his fourth and short. Tonga Valoa still throwing the ball fairly effectively, 19 of 27 for 221. The two touchdowns, but the two huge interceptions, the pick six, obviously, the start of the story. So you and I, were, Rodney, were talking at half. That second interception was huge because of the big return and then Clemson had a short field and drove it 47 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, that right after we had scored and you know six or seven play drive. But anytime you, you throw the ball, and what what I've noticed is Tua likes to throw the ball on time. And again, just like we talked pregame, they're going to try to fool our Trevor. They're going to try to 
make him think one thing and show him something else and show him something and do something else. We fooled Tua on that second interception. He thought it was man coverage. He didn't think we had a safety over the top. We did. We brought pressure, but we had a safety over the top, and, and we just got him. So big, big play here. And both teams back out of the field as we come up on third and four at the Clemson 14-yard line for Alabama. They move it from left to right. Jacobs, the running back, off the left-hand side of Tunga Valoa. Wide outs will go either side. And they bring a man in motion and bring him in closer to the left. Tunga Valoa wants to throw, looks left side, throws, and it's incomplete. Wow, I didn't Judy see that. Judy was the intended receiver. A.J. Terrell was there on the coverage, and that was just thrown wide of Judy. Well, again, to a, you put, I, I say it week in and week out, Don. I don't care if it's Tom Brady. If you put pressure on a quarterback early on, he is going to be looking for it. So Alabama going to go for it here on fourth down, fourth and four, the Clemson 14. Denzel Johnson comes in the ball game as an extra defensive back. Yeah, they took Lamar out, so it's five DBs. Jacobs a running back up the left-hand side of Tunga Valoa. Almost in the middle of the field, closer to that left hash, though, than the right. Two wide outs, right, one left. Tunga Valoa back to throw. Looks right side, under pressure. Going to scramble with it, cross of the 10. Getting close to the, or get, excuse me, gets down to about the 11-yard line. He'll be shy of the first down. That won't be enough. No, that's, that's not going to be enough. And so Clemson's going to hold, and they're going to get the ball back. So two long drives by Alabama here in the second half, and both times they come up empty. Great hustle there by the Tigers. Tanner put, Muse making the tackle on Tunga Valoa. Put pressure on Tunga Valoa, had him, made him step up in there. Again, I'm going to say this, that was a rookie mistake there. He's got to know where that is and, and get that first down if he decides to run it. Maybe he thought he could, but great job of the Tiger defense. Twice now in the red zone, Alabama empty hand in this second half. So first down and 10 for Clemson from their own 11. They'll move it from right to left with the ball in the middle of the field. ETN, the running back, right behind Lawrence. A little pistol look here. Three wide outs go right. One comes left. Now they take ETN and move him off to the right-hand side of Lawrence. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap, hands it off ETN. Up the middle he goes, right between those hashes, and will push his way out at about the 15-yard line. So he'll pick up four on that play. Raekwon Davis, defensive end, is there to lead the charge. Josh Job goes out of the ball game. No, Josh Job repla okay. replaced uh, Smith at corner. Oh, at corner. I got you. All right, thank you. Cervenka back in at right guard. Second down and six for Clemson. Lawrence wants to throw and throws and has a complete Overton. A nice back shoulder grab across the 25 right in front of the Clemson bench at about the 27-yard line. That was a big-time catch. A big-time catch, big-time throw. That's right. what Alabama has not seen, and we talked about it pregame. You can't see. They have the athletes we have. They don't have the arm Trevor has. They don't. They, there's no way they can simulate that. That was great defensive coverage. That was just a great throw and catch by Trevor and, and uh, Overton. First down and 10 for the 27. And they'll hand it off, and this time losing yards. ETN trying to go right side, and they'll be tackled for a loss all the way back to the 24-yard line, a loss of three. And once again, Quinn and Williams and Davis combining on the stop there as they're just able to get through and make the tackle. I'll tell you what, Fasanelli's got his hands full with Williams. He does, and Jennings was coming off the edge there, bringing pressure. What did we say? We want Alabama to get out of that two-deep shell man underneath. Make them roll and bring pressure, and that's what we're seeing here in the second half. Second down and 12 for Clemson from their own, actually they call it the 25. Lawrence will take the shotgun snap, throw, and look right side for Ross and throw it incomplete. He threw that really before Ross had come out of his break and it just went whizzing by. Yeah, wait, I think he thought Jennings was coming off the edge. Jennings decided to drop into, into the flats, and he had to kind of fit it in there a little bit quicker than he wanted to. Incomplete pass will stop the clock with 4.05 left here in the third. Clemson up 37 to 16. Third and 12. Clemson 5 of 8 in third down conversions in this game. 1 of 1 in this second half. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap. Here comes pressure. Lawrence going to throw and look long wanting Ross. And Ross makes a one in and grab at the Alabama 45 and is knocked out of bounds. Oh, what a grab by the freshman. 
and Alabama was blitzing on that play, and Tavian Feaster did a great job picking up the linebacker coming in, gave him that extra time to throw it. Yes, he did, Tim, and again, Dabo tells him, y'all both heard this, all we can do is give you man-to-man, one-on-one in a 50-50 ball. You've got to win that challenge, and so far, Ross has been able to win his challenge. A pickup of 37. Over 300 yards passing now for Lawrence, 324 on 16 of 26. And Ross is at four catches for 135. First down and 10 at the Alabama, 38. Ball on that right hash. Lawrence goes shotgun. And we'll hand it off. And there will be nothing there hardly at all in that running game as they get back to the line of scrimmage with Choice. And Choice just kind of pushed back. That'll bring up second down and 10. As Isaiah Bugs, the defensive end, they're going to make the stop where no gain. Second down and 10 for Clemson at the Alabama 38. 3.05 and clock rolling here. Third quarter and Clemson leading at 37 to 16. Lawrence once again will go shotgun. A stack wide receivers to either side. Lawrence back to throw. Going to throw, have it complete. And... That will be, oh, the ball comes loose as Ross fumbled it, and it comes loose, or did they call him down? Call him down, I think. We don't have, no, no Alabama they ball. They Alabama ball, yeah, at the Clemson 35-yard line, so there's the first turnover of the game. As Deontay Thompson, the free safety, came up with a fumble recovery, as Ross looks like he's trying to shift the ball. Ball is down, Don. Let's see here. Yeah, oh, the, ball, the ground down. cannot cause the I think fumble. he's down. Yeah, yeah I do too. I think he, he falls forward and he hits the ground and then the ball comes loose. The ground cannot cause a fumble. So I think Clemson's going to have possession of the ball still. I'm with you guys. Well, we're fortunate enough that this booth is not very large in this beautiful stadium, but we're right beside <laughs> the instant replay booth, and I'm hands-on yeah, here at checking, and I agree with you. The ball... He was reaching it out very similar to something crossing the line at the end zone. It hits the ground and then pops loose. Yeah, I think they're going to mark it at the at the 39-yard line. Or no, excuse me. They're going to mark it at the 37-yard line. Yep. Be a pickup of a yard when this comes back. It'll be third and nine. I do not believe that ball was coming loose at all. But that was another situation where we had we had um, – Huggins, or Higgins and and Ross, Ross stacked. stacked over there, and you have to kind of take your pick your poison. Now, it seems like we've done that about three times in this game, Rodney, right. and every time they've thrown that little back screen, at yep. some point in time, you know they're going to whoop and try double, to go along. Double move it, yeah. yeah. Well, what you do, you set that up, and the inside guy, or the, the lead guy, blocks. You throw it behind the line of scrimmage, you can do that. He fakes the blocks and then breaks down, and Trevor pumps. Sends it deep. They're telling a long look at this. Greenville Health System, Blue Ridge Orthopedics, proud to be the official team physician for Clemson Athletics. Whether you're a serious athlete or a weekend warrior, GHS Orthopedics, here for you. For more information or to find a physician near you, visit ghs.org. So a long look at this, which is a little bit surprising. They may be trying to, okay, where's time? Where's the clock? Where's the position of the ball? Before he lost control of the ball. Would be... Third down and nine at the 37-yard line. Clock will start. I'm not ready for play. So they did say he was down, so no fumble. Clemson will maintain possession of it. Third down and nine at the Alabama 37. With 246 left here, and Adam Choice will still stay in the ballgame at running back. And we wonder now, again, they start off with the two deep shell look, man underneath. Are they going to roll and bring pressure? On this third and long, we've, we've heard them already two or three times tonight. Here they go. They rolled it up. Here comes Renfro in motion from left to right and will join Ross on that right side, the short side of the field. Two wide outs to the left. Lawrence takes a shotgun snap, wants to throw. Throws, hit as he throws, but throws and has it complete to Ross again. He got it. At the 20-yard line. <laughs> what a grab <laughs> by Justin Ross. Oh, you know that Nick Saban is thinking, could have had that kid from Phoenix, Alabama. But no, he signed with Clemson. And a good job there by Choice picking up the blitz. They brought pressure. They brought the one, so they had to roll to one one deep over the top. Man covers exactly what we wanted. We had Ross out there, man to man. Let an athlete be an athlete. 153 receiving yards for Ross and six catches. Wow. 
Uh, they're going to look. They're going to review, review this. No, a, a timeout time by Alabama. But maybe a timeout to look at it. I don't know. I don't know. They can look all they want. That one was tucked. Ball was at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. The 17-yard pickup. Let's see what they we're announce not, here. I can tell you, we're not even reviewing it unofficially. Ruling on the previous play was a catch. That play is under further review. All right, so they're going to take a look at this further. Just see, I guess to see if he was juggling it. But boy, it looked like he caught that ball and had it pinned to his chest. And you remember, you got to show completion of the play as you he go. Did. He did. He it's a it's a catch. Let's see how long this replay. It was a one-handed catch, but it yeah. was a catch. Yeah, it, was, it was a catch. Hey, following a win tonight. In the national championship, all academy sports and outdoor sports upstate locations will be open immediately after the game. Head over to your nearest academy sports and outdoors and shop online at academy.com. Yeah, I think he's got it, Rodney. He does. I'm watching it there on the on the big screen to our left. I think he's got it. No question. First down, Tigers. Here comes the call. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It was a catch. First down, Fletcher. Lawrence now 342 yards passing, 18 to 28. Ross 153 receiving. Not bad for a true freshman. True 18-year-old freshman. 312, or excuse me, 212 to go here in this third quarter. 37-16. Clemson out in front of Alabama. First down and 10 for our Clemson Tigers at the Alabama 20 as they move it from right to left. The ball on that right hash. Wide side of the field left. Three wide receivers there. One lone wide receiver will go right. Lawrence in shotgun. Awaits the snap from Fasanelli. Gets it and will hand it off. And coming left side will be ETN. And ETN will turn it up at the 15. Get to the 10-yard line and will step out of bounds there. Very close to the first down marker. Matter of fact, that may be a first down. They'll mark it at the 9. A pickup of a first down. And first and goal is... Shaheem Carter, the backup strong safety, had to come over and force ETN out of bounds. Yeah, great job by the receiving core blocking downfield there, giving ETN a clean clean field to run in, pick up 10 yards, get out of bounds without getting hit. First and goal from the Alabama 9 off of the left hash. Lawrence will hand it off, and it's that Feaster. Feaster will work his way down to about the 6-yard line, it looks like, just shy of the 5. And, Don, we talked about the depth for the first time in this game, I've seen the offensive line exactly what we were hoping for, starting to move that talented Alabama defensive front. That was a clean hole to run in Feaster right there. Before he even got hit, he picked up five yards. And he actually marked it at the five and a half. And Lawrence going to fake the pitch, keep it himself, try to come left side, and he'll do well to get back to the line of scrimmage. He should have pitched it. I don't yeah, know if he had that it. option or not, but... Should they should have pitched it right side, you're right. Dylan Moses, the weak side linebacker, along with the free, free safety. Thompson combining on the stop. No gain in the play. It's the third and goal from the five and a half. Clemson seven of ten in third down conversions in this ball game. They came in at 44%, 83 of 187. They've done much better than that here tonight. The ball on that left hash, two wide outs go right, two come to the short side to the left. Lawrence, back to throw, looks across the middle, throws it back in the end zone, caught, Higgins, touchdown! And a flag will come in late. Wow, what a throw. What a catch also It was also the only Higgins. place he could have thrown it. No doubt. The guy was, uh, Higgins Under, was understanding right. your opponent, understanding there was linebackers underneath, he throws it high to a 6-5 Receiver. Got to see if he caught the ball or not. The, the call on the well, field was the catch. And it's yep. going to be targeting anyway if he doesn't catch it. Yeah, it's going to be first I down. The right. Tigers on the one yard line. I think that's what the penalty was for. Yep. So first they're going to have to check to make sure he caught the ball. And, and Big Ten officials are all gathered up target. together to talk this over. Here's the call. Touchdown. Personal foul. Targeting. Let's see what the flat. So they're going to have to review the targeting call, right? And they'll review the touchdown the as well. The play is a touchdown. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit. Defense. Late hit, not targeting. 
That 15-yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Well, you're right, Rodney. How about the throw by, by Lawrence? And Higgins comes down with it. Plainly has possession of it and then gets hit late by Joe. He got hit late, but I don't think it was targeting. No, no, no it wasn't that, targeting. It was just a personal foul. Yeah. Yeah. Late hit. Personal foul. Yeah. So 43-16, Clemson leading it with 21 seconds left in the third. And here comes a point after from Hugel out of the hold of Will Sweeney. Snap, hold, kick is up, and it is good. Clemson extends the lead now to 44-16 over Alabama. That's right. What was that again? 44-16 to 16 with 21 seconds to go in the third. The scoring drive brought to us by our good friends of the South Carolina Beef Council. 12 plays, 89 yards, 521 off the clock. The five-yard touchdown pass, Lawrence to Higgins. Remember, fans, that you can score Scoreboard big this season operator. by enjoying delicious and healthy beef at your next tailgate. And stations, while we have time, let's pause. Ten seconds. Station identification. As you are listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network, powered by JMI Sports. So 44-16 with 21 seconds to go here in the third. And some Alabama folks are beginning to head Don, to the don't exit. you say it. Don't you don't say, say it. Don't say it. No, don't say Clemson it. Clemson can't win this game. Everybody told us that before the game, Don. <laughs> I must be going to get a, a hot dog or something because I know the Alabama you know, fans are This aren't is a leaving. lot like when Dabo Sweeney was a player when they won the national championship against Miami. Miami was favored by double digits. No one thought that Alabama could win, and Alabama went in there under Gene Stallings and just stomped them. But we got a long way to go yet 15 minutes and 21 seconds. And in this game, anything can happen. I like our chances. I do like our chances. Remember, they moved the ball up to the 50-yard line because of the the personal <laughs> foul penalty. Where I think you might have a touchback. <laughs> Hunter will run up, put into it, and just kick it high and deep. Did he split the, I don't know, he, I don't think he missed the uprights left, but it would have been good if he had hit it. Well, the ball will come out of the 25-yard line, and Alabama will take over the ball there first down and 10, and they look up at the scoreboard, and they see themselves down by 28. So Alabama, third quarter, scored 106 points versus their opponent, 63. The Tigers have held them to zero points three yep. times in the red zone, right, two or three times in the red zone, the zero fake. points, and we've scored 14. And remember the fake field goal, pointless, right. and then the fourth down play, they yep. stopped it. So here we go, first down and 10. Tungle below will have Damian Harris off to his right-hand side. They've got to throw it just about every play now. Tungle below will take the shotgun snap and back the throw. Looks downfield, going to throw it long down the left sideline and go incomplete. Good coverage by A.J. Terrell as he turned it up against Devontae Smith. And so that will stop the clock with 15 seconds left here in the third and bring up second down and 10 for Alabama at their own 25. And I, that showed me something right there. As good as Tua is, he does not have Trevor's arm strength because that was a opposite side field, other side of the hash, trying to throw a vertical go route, and the ball was short. Tungle Below works off in that right hash. Awakes the shotgun snap. Play action off of Damian Harris. The ball batted down by Tanner Muse. Muse got that big right-handed paw up and just swatted it. And, Don, what did you say? You've almost got to throw the you ball throw it on every, every down. play. Yeah. Guess who also knows that? The Tigers Brent know Venables. that. Brent Venables, <laughs> the defensive staff, Coach Sweeney. And when you're one-dimensional, playing at the number one defense in the country, you're in trouble. Alabama 3 of 10 on third downs. Clemson 8 of 11 in this game on third downs. Third down and 10 for Alabama, their own 25. Ryan and Farrell's ears are pinned back. Tungvalo will go shotgun, take the shotgun snap, back to throw. Here comes some pressure. Tungvalo going to be flush and goes left side. Pointing, looking downfield, throwing it long, looking for Judy, and he makes the catch against A.J. Terrell. He pushed off against Terrell and no oh call. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my he just gosh. pushed it. How was that? No call. But he makes the grab at the Clemson 30 and is tackled as Terrell got him and makes the tackle at around the 27-yard line. That ends the third quarter. That ends the third quarter. He just pushed Terrell. There was no doubt about it. But no call, and that is the end of the third quarter of play. Clemson leads it as we head off to the fourth. 44-16 over Alabama. And we'll come back. Fourth quarter action after this. 
This is Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. We head off to the fourth here in the National Championship game in Santa Clara, California, Levi Stadium. Clemson leading Alabama 44-16. to Alabama will have the ball as we'll start the fourth quarter of play. First down and 10 at the Clemson 27. Your Clemson track and field teams will host their next home meet. That'll be on January the 11th and 12th at the Clemson Indoor Track and Field Complex. If you've not been in that place, you need to check it out. It is state-of-the-art new bank track. and oh, well, well, Nice, you, really nice. All of the, you know, Dan Radakovich, when he came in, one of his one of his uh, charges was to bring these facilities up to date. They just completed the, the tennis center. You talk about the indoor track facility. Obviously, the Reeves Center for football. The whole athletic department is getting, basically had a makeover. They've got using the West End Zone for academics. So it is a, it has been a, a great improvement. Total athletics kind of spearheaded by the Tigers run for their second national championship in four years. Three years. Three years, excuse me. So first down and 10 for Alabama as we start the fourth at the Clemson 27. They move it from right to left and will work off of the left hash. Three wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Tungvaloa sets up in shotgun. Goes off play action, wants to throw. Throws across the middle and the ball's batted away. And a good play... Once again by Mark Fields, his second pass broken up. Maybe he's earned another four-year scholarship, Tim. <laughs> he earned a gra- his graduate degree today. <laughs> second down and ten and for again, Alabama. I, the- and again, I think, Don, we, we fooled two of there. He thought he was getting inside pressure. He didn't, so he had to throw that ball a little high because the linebacker stayed there in their zone over the center. Second and ten at the Clemson 27. Again, Tua will go shotgun. Two wide receivers to the right and one to the left. Takes a shotgun snap. Looks across the middle. Going to throw and have it complete at the 10-yard line and turning it upfield with the catch will be Waddle inside the 10. Let's say he steps out of bounds at the 8. So a 19-yard pickup. Isaiah Simmons was there on the coverage and pushed him out of bounds. But first and goal, Alabama at the Clemson 8-yard line, and they'll work off of the right hash. Yeah, the Tigers got caught in a mismatch there. You got... You got Simmons trying to cover a speedy receiver in Waddle, and Tua was able to pinpoint it and correct it the first down. A little bunch set here but with two wideouts to either side. Nungavaloa awaits a shotgun snap back at the 13-yard line. Looks over the defense. Brings a man in motion now. That's Waddle, and move him over to the left. Nungavaloa going to look, throw, have it complete. Harris, and Harris will get knocked out of bounds by Xavier Thomas. Inside the five at the one-yard line. So Damian Harris was looking for his first touchdown reception of the year. He held a yard shy. Yeah, Second looked, and goal from the one. Looked to me like that was maybe a check of the line there. They recognized what the Tiger defense was and just kind of checked, and they're bringing in their heavy package, big Warwick. Yep. Warmack, excuse me. He's a extra defense or extra tackle. Go I set here as Tunga Valoa will check up under center. Tunga Valoa takes, turns, hands it off Damian Harris, is hit by Kendall Joseph, and he'll be held shy. Stop at the one yard line. Boy, how about the kid from Belton Honey of Pap High School filling the hole right there? 34 on 30 Bears. Yep. And Don, not only is that another snap. But that's time off the clock, yep. which is obviously so valuable. But yep, good point, Rodney. They lose another 30 seconds. So third and goal from the one. Ball will be between the hashes, much closer to the left hash, just inside the left hash. And again, Tunga Valoa will check up under center of the eye set behind him. And they'll hand it off Harris. And he'll be stopped shy. He got cut under by Christian Williams. Or Wilkins at the two. A loss there, Don. A loss of a yard. Wilkins just took the legs out from underneath him at the two. So fourth and goal now for Alabama at the two-yard line. And now Saban has to take his heavy package out and bring his wild or his spread bring the wild package. Cat in or bring a spread. I believe he's just going to bring a spread, put it into his hands. But again, yep. for the third time in the red zone, the Tigers are forcing a fourth down play. 
Fourth and goal from the two off of the left hash. Bunch set. Three wide receivers right. Now they'll bring Irv Smith, who was one of those, right over to the left-hand side. Tungavaloa going to keep it. Rolls under pressure. They got him and sack him at the nine-yard line. Cleveland Thurl. Thurl comes up with his 28th sack in his career, and that ties Michael Dean Perry and Gaines Adams for second all-time. And Clemson, another stop. Aloha, Alabama. Yes, it means hello and goodbye. Yep. Third time inside the red zone. The Tigers come, or Alabama comes away with zero points. Saban going for it. Where's the door? Oh, it's follow that Garnet guy. Follow that Crimson shirt to the door. Timeout on the field with 12-17 to go in the fourth. Clemson will have it first and 10 at their own. Nine and up 44-16 when we come back. And you're listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Gosh, Clemson defensively in this second half has been outstanding. The big defensive stop there. And Clemson takes over the ball at their own nine-yard line. First down and 10A at Marathon. They serve a lot more than customers. They serve communities. Marathon fueling the American spirit. Don, we talk about every week, week in and week out, about halftime adjustments. What a great job this staff does. Well, Brent Venables and his defensive staff, they were talking about the same thing we were talking. Alabama's going to try to come out and run the ball. And then and they have, they made their adjustments, stopping them three. Is that three or four times, Tim, inside the red zone that Alabama has come away with it's, zero points? I guess well, they got times. a field goal. Well, they got a field goal. Well, they had a fake field goal that was stopped, and then they had the fourth down play that was stopped, and this play there was another fourth yeah. down play. But they've play. not so scored three. this half. No. no. They had a 25-yard field goal, though, in the second quarter. In the second right. quarter. And right. that was a, in a red zone score. Right, right. But in this half, there's one, they're scoreless, and two, we've stopped them three or four times inside the red zone. First down and 10, Clemson at their own nine as they move it from left to right, operate off of the right hash. Lawrence will take the shotgun snap and hand it off to Choice. Two hands on the football, and he'll be tackled for a loss back to the seven-yard line. He'll lose two. Clemson right now, hey, you're up 44-16. to 16. The clock's moving at 12.05, and counting in the contest, you eat up clock as much as you can. Yeah, what we have to, and we, we kind of talk about this every every week, though. What this offense can't do is get, you know, hand the ball off, hand the ball off, hand the ball off. You've got to run the, the, the run pass option and give Trevor that because he's what got you here. He's what helped you get here so you, you don't take the ball out of his hands because, again, we see Alabama trying to bring pressure, starting out the two deep look and rolling into to one, which is exactly what we want to do. Officially, they call it second down and 11. Lawrence going to throw, looks, and has a man open breaking. That was Kendrick, and he couldn't catch up with it down the left sideline. Threw it just a little bit out in front of him. If 10 catches that in stride, he's gone. Yeah, again, a perfect read by Trevor, understanding what the secondary is trying to do. He just put a little bit of juice on that. Kendrick couldn't catch it. Like you said, Don, if he catches that, he's off to the races. And he, and he can run. Yes, he can. Third down and 11 for Clemson from their own eight. Clemson, eight of 11 on third downs in this contest. Lawrence will send three wide receivers to his left and one to the right. That's the short side of the field, and that's Ross. Lawrence wants to throw to Ross. Back shoulder, goes up, can't hold on. Was batted away from him by Job as he was trying to bring it down into his body along the sideline and had it knocked away from him. So a three and out here for Clemson. That stops the clock with 11.23 to go in the contest and punting time. And does Alabama come after a punt here and try to block one? This will only be Spires' third punt of the game. He's punted, what, for uh, 51, 51 and 38 or 39? 30, uh, 39. Yeah, they think, had an eight-yard return. It was only yeah. a net of 31. I think they definitely come after it. I mean, that, they've got it. The clock's against them. They've got to change some momentum right now. The Tigers have momentum, even going three and out. And Waddle back to receive the punt. Spires to take the snap and will get it off. And it's an end over end rugby style kick that'll hit and take a Clemson big roll across the 50 and will roll dead at about the Alabama 47 and a half yard line. And Alabama will take over there with 11 12 left here in this fourth quarter play. And Clemson up 28 at 44 to 16. And will a 44 yard punt and no return. We'll take the break, and you are listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. A 
11-12 left here, fourth quarter in the national championship game. Don Munson, Rodney Williams, Tim Beret with you from the Founders Federal Credit Union broadcast booth. Reggie Merriweather, man in the State Farm sidelines for us. And Alabama will have the football first down and 10 at their own 48-yard line and in desperate need of quick points, not just points, but quick points now. Yeah, there's no doubt. You can't, and again, it's what it's what you want to do as a defensive staff or as a team is, is get a team that, one, we talked about early on, doesn't have much depth because they hadn't played really four-quarter games except the, AC, uh, the SEC championship and the, and the playoff last week, which was really not in jeopardy. So you've got a team that doesn't have much depth trying to be one-dimensional because they've got to score in hurry because they're down 28 points with 11 minutes and 12 seconds to go in the fourth and supposed to be un- unbeatable. In case you're wondering, this is Clemson's already tied for the most points Nick Saban team has given up at Alabama. They uh, beat uh, Auburn 55-44 on November 29th, 2014. He's never given up half a hundred at Alabama. And Jalen Hurts will come in the ball game at quarterback. Hurts in at quarterback, Tunga Baloa out. Hurts sets up in shotgun, takes a shotgun snap, and he wants to throw. Looks right side, throws, and it's incomplete. Try to get it outside to Josh Jacobs. The back coming out of the backfield. Second down and ten. So they bring the running quarterback in and make throw. him throw. <laughs> Trying to fool somebody. I mean, we also know they've got to score, and they've got to score quickly. Yep. Second down and 10 for Alabama from their own 48, moving it from right to left and working off the right ash. Hurts again, takes a shotgun snap, looks. Here comes pressure, and they're going to get him. Wilkins ball, gets the box the ball fumble. loose. It's still loose and fallen on by an offensive lineman for Alabama. Pierce Baker. Fells on, falls on it. Are they going to say that he was down? Looks like they're ruling that and the loss will go all the way back to the 44. That's a sack right there. Yeah, boy, he got question. held. Even he got he, Wilkins got held, and he still got the sack. So all the way back to the 44, third and 15. Actually, third and 14. And the we'll clock is running. And Alabama just four of 12 and third down conversions. And Hertz will go shotgun with the ball right in the middle of the field. Jacobs off to his right-hand side. Three wideouts to his right, one to his left. Hertz takes a low snap, back to throw, under pressure as Xavier Thomas is chasing him around. Loads up, lets it fly, and it will be incomplete at about the 39-yard line. A.J. Terrell was there on the coverage of Ruggs, and it was Xavier Thomas chasing Jalen Hertz all over the place in the backfield. Fourth and 14, they are going to punt. We started this night talking about our death we've got fresh legs and Xavier Thomas and they're fast and you've got a heavy leg offensive lineman out there trying to kick that leg back to keep him from coming around the corner they can't do it he put pressure on on Hurts immediately Amari Rogers will drift back to take the punt of Bernier it's a low kick it will hit at the 25 taking Alabama bounce inside the 10 inside the 5 and a roll did at the half yard line they'll move that ball up to the 1 so the perfect punt and first down and 10 for Clemson they'll have to go 99 with 10.02 left but they're up 44 to 16 in this contest a 55 yard punt and no return at the end of the first quarter Alabama had 224 yards total offense they have just 200 since then. How about and, that? And they haven't scored since the second quarter. Off the break, we'll go. And you're listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Hey, our thanks to our good friends at Farm Bureau Insurance. As policyholders get free and discounted tickets to select Clemson basketball games, visit your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent for details. Get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau insurance. Don Munson, Rodney Williams, Tim Beret from the Founders Federal Credit Union broadcast booth. Our man Reggie Merriweather working the State Farm sidelines for us. Clemson on the football, first down and 10 at their own one, but up 44 to 16 with 10.02 left. Well, you'd just like to see Clemson offensively at least get a first down or two here in this situation. Right. Take some time off the clock. Well, they have a pressure punt situation. Yep. Yep. Well, you need, you need 12 yards, 15 yards, really, for an average punt. So if, even if you don't pick a first down, you want to pick up six or seven yards right. here. 
to, yeah, get, they, to give Will a, a, a normal punting uh, position. But I really feel like, again, the Tigers picked this pick two first downs up, and I think you're going to see Trevor get a curtain call and Coach Sweeney get the, the backups in playing in this national championship. Yeah, ETN in the ball game and running back. He'll still go shotgun, so Lawrence will go shotgun, and that ball resting on that left hash. Clemson moves it from left to right. Wide outs to either side. Double tight end set here for Clemson. First and ten at their own one. Lawrence asks for the shotgun snap, hands it to ETN. ETN slips a couple of tacklers and works his way out to the three. A little shifty move there at the one by ETN that got him nice. a couple of yards. And a great job there by the offensive line getting a push because, remember, one-yard line, right? Or, yep. or, so the, the defense is trying to submarine and keep you from getting any kind of movement. The offensive line got that push and were able to get, as you said, a little shifty ETN up there, pick up a couple yards and a little bit of breathing room right there. And, again, the clock is our is our friend, He right? is our friend right now. Yep. Every play that you run and – you can take 40 seconds off the clock. Right. Second down and eight for Clemson from their own three. ETN off to the right-hand side of Lawrence. He sets up in shotgun. And off again. No, Lawrence will keep it. Comes across the five, gets to the ten. Actually started his slide. Now, where are they going to say he started his slide? They're going to say maybe Just right short. At, yeah, maybe at the ten and a half. So they're going to mark the ball on the ten. So he is just shy of the first down. The clock continues to move now, 8.55 and counting. And Clemson, 8 of 12 in third down conversions, and none bigger than this one right here. And Lawrence with a little smile on his face as he's in the huddle right now. How about that? The young freshman just enjoying the moment. We've we've said it all year long. There's never been, even the national championship has not been a a moment too big for this young freshman. Third and inches. ETN on the right-hand side of Lawrence. And they'll hand it off to ETN, and he'll have a first down and then some. Almost broke it as he came across the 15 and got tackled by McKinney at the 17. He was a step away from a house call. Again, we talked about the lack of depth. That th- one-yard run, that li- or, or no gain in the first half, three-yard gain in the third quarter, and now that's a five-yard gain, six-yard gain in the fourth quarter. This Alabama defense is tired. They've been out there the whole time. Another first, one more first down. This ball game's over. Well, this ball game's over anyway. Over right now, I think. Two Go national on. championships in the last three years. Who would have thought? Going under eight Dabo minutes Sweeney. Now. <laughs> well, he did think it. You're right. He was the only one. First down and ten for Clemson from their own 17. And once again, they'll hand it off, and ETN will bounce off the pile, take it left side, and work forward for maybe a yard. Not to about the 18-yard line where Isaiah Bugs, the defensive end. Makes the stop. Alabama's really done a good job against Clemson's rushing game. The Tigers only have 57 yards rushing. Yeah, but look what they Lawrence got, is. They got 148. But look what Lawrence has done through so the they, air. So they've made Lawrence Clemson the one-dimensional like everybody tries right, to do. And, tries to do, and he and just he beats, beats them. them. They just can't believe this freshman can do what he does. And and the freshman's out. The freshman out on the on the perimeter with Ross and and then Higgins out there. It's just sophomore. Exactly Roger what we saw. Sophomore, right. Woo. 48 yards in the game for Etienne, and now over 1,600 for the year. Second down, we'll call it eight. Again, they'll hand it off Etienne going left side, gets between the numbers and hash, crosses the 30, 35, 40, at the 50, and he'll run out of bounds on the Alabama sideline at around the 45-yard line. They'll mark him out of bounds, actually, at the 43. Well, there he popped the big one. 40 yards. And here we go. This is very reminiscent of last week. And we'll let Clemson go 99 for a touchdown, this Rodney. offensive line. It'd be 99 and a half, actually. Yeah. 99. It might be the longest. Yeah. It'd be, we'll if, yeah, to if tie they give the us longest. that half. Yeah. First down and 10 at the Alabama, 43. On the left hash as Clemson moves it from left to right, and Feaster comes in the ball game at running back. He had 14 for 86. Move Feaster over to the right-hand side of Lawrence, and they'll hand it off to 28, and 28 will pop it up that left hash across the 40, pound his way down to the Alabama 39-yard line. And what I love about this is all on the ground. They can't, SEC, ESPN, they can't say, oh, it was a fluke, oh, it was a great play here. This was a totally dominating performance by exactly. a Clemson football team. Kicking game. <laughs> Reg, talk offense, to me, brother. <laughs> offense, no, I, defense, it's everything. It's yeah, not just it's, Trevor Lawrence, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's a defensive line without 
a first-round draft choice. Right. You know, it is a complete dominating performance of a team that every analyst said was going to beat Clemson's brakes off. Second down and six for Clemson at the Alabama 39. Lawrence going to throw, has a complete T.J. Chase right side. Chase will get to the numbers, and it'll actually be dropped at the 39-yard line. There'll be no gain on the play for T.J. Chase, his first grab of the game. But, Tim, I mean, Don, that was just a good, smart play because he could have kept running outside, but what do you want to do? You want to stay, stay in bounds. bounds and let that clock be your friend, right? Yep. Yeah, Chase. And this drive, we're down to five minutes and ten seconds. Loving wow. it. Just loving it. 44-16. Nick Saban has never lost a game at Alabama by more than 14 points. Here's one for you. Who's the last coach to beat Alabama by more than 14 points? Steve Spurrier? Nick Saban. Nick, oh, Nick Saban wow. at LSU? When he was the coach at LSU. What about that? Third down and six from the Alabama 39. Lawrence going to keep it and have a first down going left side between the hashes. Ran over somebody, he Don. He did. The big... Quarterback runs it all the way down to the Alabama 30-yard line. Actually, we'll mark a knee down to the 31. Another first down, and now the Clemson fans that are here are really celebrating. Those that have made the trip to Santa Clara are loving life right now. Because there's no Alabama fans left. No. They're empty. They're gone. The band is still here. The band. They will not let the band leave. <laughs> and, if they, and if they could, they maybe they would. would. Yes. Well, right in the middle of the field. First down and 10 for Clemson at the Alabama 31. Lawrence with backs on either side of him will go shotgun. Take, hand it off, and that'll be Choice. And Choice will come across the 30-yard line, work his way forward to the Alabama 29. Clemson took over this ball with 10 minutes and 2 seconds to go. And could, they the ball. could they run the clock out? Could Boy, they run would, the clock out? Would that and make Dabo Sweeney happy or what? And Saban has yet to use one of his timeouts. He's yeah. still got six. He didn't use any on the first half, and he has not yet used one. He understands this ball game is over. Second down and eight for Clemson at the Alabama 29-yard line. Lawrence will go shotgun. Choice off to his left-hand side. Two wideouts right and one to the left. That's Will Sweeney. Lawrence going to keep it. Tim left side, cut up field, come across the 25, and we'll have another first down across the 20. Did the ball come loose? Because there's a bunch of scrambling for it. It looks like Lawrence has it. Yeah. Nope. Lawrence has it across the 20. They're going to mark him down at the 17-yard line. Move the change. Fossinelli comes out of the ball game, and he comes over to the sideline to start celebrating. And in fact, the whole starting offensive line will come out of the ball game. And they will celebrate on the Clemson sideline. Clemson faithful, can you smell that? That's championship is what you're smelling right now. That is a championship. And every every Tiger fan out there, three or two national championships in three years. And now and this one's not a nail biter. You're able to celebrate and enjoy the victory. Devo Sweeney will call timeout here. And there's the curtain call for that starting offense. Yep. I believe the starting offense is going to come out, and they will get a curtain call. Trevor Lawrence will have started 11 games this year. In the last 10, Clemson will have won by at least 20 points. That's every incredible. Game. We need to go to break. Off the break we go. Clemson leading at 44-16, 2.45 left, and the celebration is about to be on. You are listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Clemson Nation, we're just 2.45 away from our second national championship in the last three years, and both of those championships will be over the Alabama Crimson Tide. Clemson will have it first down and 10 at the Alabama 17-yard line. This drive started at the one, actually inside the one, at the half-yard line. And Clemson has done just driven it down the field. I think just one pass play, that was a throw to Chase that went for nothing, didn't win Went for no yardage, and Clemson has just run the football right at this Alabama defense and has taken it to him. And Tim, this is just kind of a remarkable what we're sitting here and watching right now. Yeah, it really is. Um, 2.45 to go. Chase. Clemson could run out the clock. It would be the longest drive in Clemson history in terms of time. So Bryce will check in. Adam Choice, Tavian Feaster, the two running backs on either side of his shoulders. 
Overton will be split out to the left side, and Chase and Sweeney will both come split to the right. So can we throw a touchdown pass to Will Sweeney, oh please? My God. Can we have that, please? Chase Bryce will take the shotgun snap, and he'll head it off. And up the middle will go Choice, and Choice will come across the 15-yard line and work his way to the 13-yard line. Tackle on the play made by Dylan Moses, the weak side linebacker. So second down and seven at the Alabama, officially they call it the 14-yard line. Kind of fitting that Bryce is in at the yeah, end of the is. game just because he arguably had made the most important play of the year. That fourth down throw to Higgins. Again, they'll just keep it on the ground as they hand it off to the running back. And that's Choice one more time. And Choice will work his way down close to about the 12-yard line. And one other note of interest, Trevor Lawrence will be the first freshman quarterback, starting quarterback, to lead his team to the national championship since Jamel Holloway in 1985. For Oklahoma? For Oklahoma. And you might remember Jamel Holloway threw his last career pass against Clemson in a loss in the Citrus Bowl. Citrus Bowl. Yeah, 13-6. Yep. Right, 13-6. Dexter yep. Davis batted away and Clemson won the game. So third down and four at the Alabama 11-yard line. Chase Price will take a shotgun snap and will keep it himself trying to come right side and it will be tackled for a loss. He faked it. And then... Here came Jennings from the backside to chase him down and throw him for a loss at the 12. And with a minute four, minute three, minute two. I would think Dabo would just run the ball and yep. bleed as much of the clock as possible. Fourth and five. I know Nick Saban, he would just come out and take a knee. Clemson now just 49 seconds away. And they have come here to Santa Clara and have dominated this football game. Bryce will go shotgun between split backs. He'll hand it off. Choice, Choice will bound his way down to about the five-yard line. Have it. a first down, and Clemson's going to run out the clock. It's going to be the last drive. It's going to be 10 minutes and two seconds, the longest drive in Clemson history in terms of time. The previous record, nine minutes, 47 seconds against Maryland. Don't have to run another play. This ball game is over, and Clemson runs out on the field and celebrates. They come to California and strike gold. The golden scepter is ours. Clemson downs Alabama 44-16 to win their second national championship in three years and their third overall. Clemson once again paints the college football world orange and will be declared kings of college football. Celebration is coming up on the other side. 44-16 is our final. And the celebration is about to begin. And you are listening to Solid Orange Clemson Football on the Clemson Tigers Network. Clemson, the first team in the modern era to go four, or go 15-0. and 0. The senior class has just won their 55th career game. So that ties Alabama for the all-time best in that category. And the Tigers are once again national champions, 44-16 here in Santa Clara. And with the Tiger win here tonight, everyone wins half-off pizza. Tomorrow at PapaJohns.com, all you got to do is enter promo code CLEMSON50 when placing your online order at PapaJohns.com. Offer valid online only at participating stores. I tell you what, Tim Perea, I know you've seen a lot. Uh, I haven't been around this near as much. But I, I am just stunned, stunned at what we are witnessing that Dabo Sweeney is doing with this football program. Well, I uh, have to agree with you. And the only thing I can compare it to, you know, last year when you and I broadcast the Auburn basketball game in the NCAA tournament, yes. I said that was the greatest performance in 40 years. that an Alabama guy, Dabo Sweeney,
keeps him from breaking Bear Bryant's record. <laughs> and Dab, we all know Dabo historically grew up with Alabama. You know, there's a little bit of part of him that said, uh-uh, you're not beating Bear Bryant's record on yeah. my watch. I'll tell you what, and here comes the alma mater to be played by the Clemson band, and that means all the players will come streaming over here to stand in front of the band and sing the Clemson alma mater. Can we give a little bit of a listen here? Let's give a little bit of a listen. Clemson Tigers and Tiger fans your Clemson Tigers are national champions and you can now purchase your national championship merchandise on ClemsonTigers.com including the locker room hat and shirt that the players will be wearing and also don't forget that our good friends at Academy Sports and Outdoors will be opening up their upstate locations for you to go and purchase gear tonight go there right now and purchase your national championship gear so they're about to do the, the presentation of what I like to call the Golden Scepter. And um, they'll do all of that here coming up in, in just a little bit. Reggie, I know that you're still down there in the field. Uh, I don't know that you have been able to grab hold of, of anybody, but are you still down there with us? I had to track down Mark Fields, and I want to ask him two questions. First of all, how is it, what does it feel like to win a national championship as a senior? Man, to win a national championship as a senior is crazy, man. We put in so much hard work, uh, starting from January of last year, just grinding every single day, man. Uh, and, you know, the hard work just paid off, man. Like, it's just, it's, it's just so real just to see it all come to fruition, man. So I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of the team like this and to go out with a bang. So let me ask you this, another question. When Mullen goes down, you come in the game. Tell me about that. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm prepared. I prepare like I'm a starter all the time. Like, it doesn't matter to me. So the situation was never too big for me. I'm confident in my abilities and what God has blessed me with. And I just showed the world today what it is I could do at the corner spot. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. They unveiled a new national championship flag for, for Clemson. I'm going to guess that once again is a Jeff Callen uh, design, as I can see it down there in it, uh, the orange flag, and uh, like they did from uh, Tampa. So we'll have to get maybe the, the complete story on that. Uh, I'm sure that we will as, as time will go by. But uh, I'll tell you what, also, Saturday is going to turn into a busy day for us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a parade on Saturday to celebrate the national championship. We'll have a 12 noon basketball game against Virginia. Just the like parade the, will lead to the celebration yeah, the of the parade, stadium like it did. Yes, the, there'll be a parade. And then we'll play the number four ranked team in the country. And then we'll have the banquet that night that you and, and I will and attend. I, I got to tell you, after I did the pregame with Dabo on Thursday. I told him, I said, now you realize in 2016, Villanova won the national championship in basketball, then we won the national championship in, in, uh, in football, and then the celebration was on a Saturday of a basketball game against Virginia, and we're playing Virginia in basketball next Saturday. So he wrote all that down. He might, he might tell that to a few people after. All right, now we also have some other... Last night, I ate at uh, Smoke and Pig Barbecue. There's a Smoke and Pig Barbecue uh, here in Santa Clara. So I ate there last night. It's not our Smoke and Pig. And you were telling me as you were going to dinner that you got off on exit 19A. Is that right? Well, yeah, off of, no, we were on <laughs> of Route 85. 85 South, and we got off through exit 19A. So I don't know if that was a foreshadowing or not, but uh, pretty amazing. Oh. All right, who's got Jeff Scott? Now? I do. All right, Rodney, take it away. All right, Coach, all I can say is congratulations these guys. With your game plan, put it together and executed exactly what y'all wanted to see. Man, I'm, I'm so proud of our guys to be able to come out and play well on a stage like this. To be honest, I'm not surprised. I really had a good feeling. I told a lot of my buddies I felt like if we played well, we could win by at least 10 points. And our guys have been locked in all year long. I mean, you just think about a guy like Trevor Lawrence, true freshman. Just every big stage, he's just excelled. And uh, I couldn't be more proud. Really want to give a shout-out to that offensive line. No sacks today versus this type of defense. And uh, be able to have those long drives that we had. 
Man, just a very special moment and really proud for our guys. How about that second half? You knew they were going to make adjustments. You knew they were going to come out. Y'all made your own adjustments, and that defense gave you an opportunity making three really good red zone stops. Yeah, I tell you what, you know, Coach Sweeney always talks about playing complimentary football, offense, defense, and special teams. And uh, to have our defense play the way they did and for us to be able to go out there, you know, we talked. We said if we'll play our best four quarters of the year, we'll be happy with the result. And I think that's exactly what we did today. Congratulations on your second in three years. Thank you. Special. All right, guys. It is special. I, I love that. And Jeff Scott recognizes that. I think I, all, all of us at Clemson Nation recognize how special this moment is. I got Tony. All right, R Rodney. Talk all to right. Tony. Coach, two and three years, but more importantly, the guys coming out, executing the game plan, and sticking to it. Man, unbelievable performance, and, and really the hats off to the offensive line. We challenged them in our final meeting today as we closed up prep before the game and said if we're going to have a chance, we got to win in the trenches. We said, fellas, if y'all control the line of scrimmage, we got playmakers that will go make plays. And uh, they gave the quarterback unbelievable amount of time. Uh, the receivers made plays, and we were able to find enough running game to keep them honest so they couldn't just hone in on us. Thought the coaches did an unbelievable job in putting together a plan. We had a lot of versatility in the plan, had answers, and the guys executed. Yeah, one of the things I was going to say, to give a true freshman that kind of leeway and that kind of that kind of rope as an offensive coordinator it has to be gratifying and almost helps you kind of expand the offense. Great offensive coordinators have great quarterbacks, <laughs> and, and, and you let him do what he does. And this kid's been unbelievable all year long, making the right reads. You know, he hasn't thrown an interception in I don't know how long. You know, he had a little bit of jitters the first game that he was out there, but since then, man, the kid's been unbelievable. Uh, his preparation is like a pro. Uh, he's, got the, he's got the talent to make all the throws. And I tell you what, all of the guys around him, they elevate their game because they know he can get them the ball. Congratulations on two and three years. All right, thank you. All right, guys. I appreciate that, that Rodney. We're not far away from what will be the uh, trophy presentation here of the National Championship Trophy. Got have to make a little more room there in that lobby. Now we got, got another got another golden scepter to put there in that in that football operations building. Here's Campbell's office, you just have to make bigger. <laughs> here we go. Undefeated champion of the playoff era at 15 and 0. Remarkable, thorough, game-winning performance, and now here to present. The National Championship Trophy from the College Football Playoff is the Executive Director of the College Football Playoff, Mr. Bill Hancock. Bill? Thank you, Reese. I want to congratulate both of these fine teams for their seasons, two of the most remarkable seasons in college football history. And now on behalf of the conferences and institutions that manage the College Football Playoff, it's my honor to bring this, the National Championship Trophy to Coach Dabo Sweeney and the Clemson Tigers. There is something different about elevating a program to a place where you win multiple championships. The second time winning a championship, what does that say about where this program is now? Well, I, the past 10 years, one of the things I told these guys is, is we've, everything we've done once, we've done again. That 2016 team won the Natty the first time and, and knocked the lid off our program. And I told these guys, we're going to win it again. It's just a matter of which team does it. And it just so happens that this, this, uh, this group of seniors that just won their 55th game, they did it again. And I'm going to just say this, and I, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, because it is, it, it is a privilege for anybody to be able to experience a moment like this. So many coaches and great players never get this opportunity. And for us to get to do it twice, it's just the grace of God. It's a blessing. But at the end of the day, having done it, I appreciate this moment. But it's really more about our journey, our relationships, our grind, what it took to get here. And uh, I just, I'm so happy for our fans, our families, our players, our administration, our former players, a bunch of them here tonight that love the Paul. And we're going to enjoy this one. We got a nice spot to put it in our facility right by that other one. We got now, twins. We got twins. I hope you've got room in that facility. We, we got twins. We got twins. But let me say this. 
To God be the glory. And we're going to enjoy this tonight. But on Friday, we're going to have another team meeting and we're going to get locked in on next year. A you, new journey. You got some guys that can get you back. One quick question about the way in which you won this one. When did you feel that you had broken their will? Well, I thought, uh, I really thought coming in, I mean, Alabama is Alabama. I mean, it's unbelievable. But I felt like we had the better team. I felt like our leadership, our will to win, I could just sense it. And uh, I felt like in the first half, the first half, the pick six kind of set the tempo. And then the first big play by Trevor, to me right then, when we, I think we scored four out of the first six possessions, I knew we had the opportunity, even though we didn't run the ball great, but I knew that we were going to be able to dictate to the coverage that we were going to get from them. And our guys made plays. We came in with the mindset that we were going to play on the balls of our feet and we were going to attack. And we did. The whole night we attacked. And to be able to beat a great champion like this, I mean, it's just unbelievable. You just got to give credit to our staff and to these players for just, just their will to win. It was unbelievable. Davo, congratulations. Thank a you. tremendous performance. Davo Sweeney, head coach of the national champions. We get Trevor Lawrence in here. Trevor, as you might expect, the offensive MVP with a virtuoso performance. Trevor, you're the first true freshman quarterback to start and win a national championship game since 1985. What's the significance of what you've been able to accomplish in such a short period of time? I mean, just, just my teammates, uh, these coaches. It's not really it's not really about me, about me being a freshman. It's just, you know, I'm just so grateful to get to be a part of a team like this in any of my four years. Much less my freshman year has been it's been unbelievable. The leadership of these seniors and these coaches has been amazing. Uh, I've never been on a team that's, that's been this focused and this driven. When did you feel that you guys had complete and total control of the game? Uh, probably, probably honestly, when Justin made that crazy catch down there, I was like, man, it's, it's uh, I, th I think we got this. It's not a bad deal to have a guy like that, is it? Trevor, congratulations, man. What a performance. Trevor Lawrence, the offensive MVP of the national championship game. I want to welcome in Trayvon Mullen, who's the defensive MVP of the game. You guys absolutely shut them down, kept them out of the end zone after the first quarter. How, what did it mean to you to be able to stymie this offense that had gotten so much attention throughout the course of the year? I mean, it meant, it meant a lot to us, especially as a defense, uh, having a defensive coordinator like Coach Brent Venables believing in us. Uh, he makes sure we prepare well. We get all the preparation. We believe in each other. We go out there. We have an edge. We play with love, and we got the victory. At what point did you feel like that you were dictating the terms of the game to them? I mean, I feel like as soon as we got on that field, we felt like that. As soon as we stepped on that field, everything changed. We knew we was going to come out and win this game. Trayvon, congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, let's see if we can get Christian Wilkins here. Christian, what a, You, yes, you. <laughs> Campbell Trophy winner, national champion, two times over now. Tell me about the emotion that was coming out of you at the end of the game as the clock started to wind down. I mean, it's just special, man. Just everybody on this team, all the work we put in, the coaching staff. I mean, people just don't get it, man, unless you're at Clemson, just how special everybody is and how special of a program we are. And now we 15 and 0. We beat the best team ever. I mean, so we 15 and 0, the best team ever, and no one taking that away from us. As you leave Clemson, was this a changing of the guard game where now you are the program against which everyone else is measured? I mean, well, that's up to everybody else. Uh, you know, we just try to be the best we can be. Um, you know, day in and day out, we just try to be the best program we could be. And I mean, so that's up for y'all to decide. We just, we're just going to take care of our business. Christian, tremendous career, outstanding Thank performance you. tonight. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Hey, we got something to say. We got something to say. We on the West Coast. 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 This is Cleveland Farrell, but Hey, a lot of y'all might understand this, but uh, if you want to cut for any of them recruits out there, if you want to come to a program where you got to worry about your coast, I ought to be in the locker room, dancing, come to Death Valley. <laughs> Chris, that might be the strongest performance of my career. Wilkins and Farrell tried to take that mic away from me.
on me, but I was not giving it up. But they are the champions of the night. Chris, back to you. All right, so there you go. The, the presentation up front. Oh, my goodness. We have a great bunch of guys. I mean, just a – and what a great answer by Christian Wilkins when they asked him if this is the change – that isn't that isn't up to me to determine. That's up for everybody else to determine. What an awesome couldn't, answer! Couldn't couldn't have been uh, couldn't have been a better answer. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, the, uh, the SID in me was not in my head. Good <laughs> job. Don't get baited into that. No doubt about it. All right, so they're going to work their way off. We need to take a quick break here. We'll take a break. We'll come. Is he coming down? All right, I'll wait, Rodney. Uh, let's do an ID first. So let's let's pause. We've crossed midnight. So let's do an ID first. Let's pause ten seconds for station identification. As you are listening to Solid Orange Clemson football on the Clemson Tigers Network, powered by JMI Sports. 